Chapter 1581 Shen Bijin Translator Born to be in the central Xuan region, there was a holy land with soaring mountains and ancient forest of towering trees. Mist shrouded the land, making it look like a fantasy world. Atop one of those soaring mountains was a grand and beautiful palace. It could vaguely be seen within the mist and cloud. The rising and falling mountains looked like they were moving rhythmically. It enthralled the heart, looking like it contained the silent transformations of the mysterious Grand Tao of Music. This place was the Martial Heaven Continent's famous elusive music Immortal Palace. The reason why it was so famous was because in times when the continent had been facing a great crisis, powerful experts had come from the elusive music Immortal Palace, allowing humanity to survive. It was one of the protectors of the Martial Heaven Continent. Another reason for its fame was because all the elusive music Immortal Palace's members were women. Countless experts yearned to win one of their hearts. If anyone could marry one of their disciples, it would be the blessing of their lifetime. The elusive music Immortal Palace's disciples used music to peer into the heavens. Their songs were the music of the heavenly deos, and it was extremely beneficial to one's cultivation. Regretfully, the elusive music Immortal Palace's core disciples never married. Only outer disciples with lower aptitude would sometimes choose to abandon their music Tao cultivation when they found a man they fancied. Within the main palace, there were hundreds of women sitting at the front. These women looked to be around 30 years old. However, in reality, they were the elusive music Immortal Palace's elders. Their age was shockingly high. On the throne of the palace was a beautiful woman looking at Zi Yan with a complicated expression. Zi Yan's head was lowered. Beside her was another woman. She was tall and slender, and her hair was tied up in several high knots, making it look like a vertical cloud. She was also beautiful, but her face was a bit thin and her chin was a bit sharp. To Zi Yan, she coldly said, Our elusive music Immortal Palace is the protector of the continent, but you actually showed mercy to someone for personal reasons, resulting in countless experts dying. Junior Apprentice Sister Zi Yan how are you going to explain yourself to us? To the continent this woman was Zi Yan's senior apprentice sister. Her name was Shen Bijin. Within the entire elusive music Immortal Palace, she was the only one whose talent had reached the same level as Zi Yan. In fact, because she had joined earlier, she was even stronger than Zi Yan. The two of them were the elusive music Immortal Palace's peak geniuses. They were both empyreans and apprentices of the current palace master. However, Zi Yan was the one who had gained the privilege to control the seven string C suppressing zither. That signified that Zi Yan would be the successor of the palace master in the future. Shen Bijin didn't like that and was even a bit jealous. She normally didn't dare to say anything about it, but today, she finally had an opportunity to attack Zi Yan verbally to the point that she couldn't fight back at all. Zi Yan, tell me, why did you hold back? asked the palace master. She had some pain in her eyes, but as the palace master, she had to continue. Disciple is incompetent. Disciple is willing to relinquish the control of the seven string C suppressing zither as punishment, said Zi Yan with her head lowered. That shocked everyone. Giving up the seven string C suppressing zither indicated that she was giving up her position as the future palace master. As for Shen Bijin, she was shocked but also pleased. Nonsense. Are you a child? Are you trying to escape from your responsibility demanded the palace master. A dripping sound rang out. Only now did people notice that Zi Yan's tears were constantly dripping on the ground. Everyone else can leave. I wish to speak to Zi Yan alone. Seeing those tears, the palace master's heart softened. Palace master, cried out Shen Bijin. Go. Yes, Shen Bijin was unwilling. She knew that the palace master was unwilling to criticize Zi Yan in front of everyone. Most likely, the palace master wouldn't scold her at all. Shen Bijin had finally had a chance to strike Zi Yan thanks to this matter, but the palace master was too biased toward her, enraging Shen Bijin. However, she didn't dare to retort, and she left with everyone else. The large room only had the palace master and Zi Yan. The palace master sighed and walked over to Zi Yan. Master, Zi Yan threw herself into her master's embrace and cried, Child, what am I going to do with you? Before going, I have told you that Long Chen was your devil star. 
Each time you encountered him, you gave up your chance to kill him. You didn't kill him in the Eastern Wasteland. You didn't kill him in the Grand Shia. You didn't kill him in the Eastern Xuan City. Now, you even had another chance to kill him in a justifiable manner. If you had unleashed the 10,000 Spirit Heaven Suppressing Song, then with the 7 String C Suppressing Zither's assistance, you would have had at least an 80% chance of killing him. Even though that divine ring of his is strange, you would still have heavily injured him. With the other experts present, Long Chen would have definitely died. Now that you've missed this chance, the difficulty in killing him will multiply next time. If you don't kill him next time, then you will definitely die to him. Why must you do this? The palace master gently rubbed Zi Yan's hair. She sighed. You held back. Was it because you were testing how Long Chen felt toward you? Zi Yan sobbed. If he killed me, it would prove that I wasn't in his heart. I would be dead, and I wouldn't have to feel any pain. If he didn't kill me, it would mean I was in his heart, and I still had a chance to save him. However, however, he actually said such heartless words. I, Zi Yan couldn't speak any longer as her tears overwhelmed her. Foolish girl, there's no chance for the two of you. He is your faded devil star. In the end, only one of you can live in this world. You have to face this destiny, urged the palace master. Master, I really can't. Although I don't approve of Long Chen's methods, I don't approve of how those people acted either. If both sides were wrong, why must I only kill Long Chen? Is it only because they have more people? Because they were wrong as a majority, they don't need to bear any guilt? As the protector of the Martial Heaven Continent, are we protecting the Martial Heaven Continent's people, or the Martial Heaven Continent's justice? Demanded Zi Yan. Child, we are not protectors of the Martial Heaven Continent's people, nor are we protectors of the Martial Heaven Continent's justice. We are protectors of the Heavenly Deos. You don't understand many things, but you will understand them in the future. This is the mission of our elusive music Immortal Palace. Zi Yan shook her head. Master, please don't make things hard on yourself. I want to rest for a while and sort out my thoughts. All right, you truly do need some time to rest. The palace master gave her approval. Once Zi Yan left, she sighed deeply. Master, not long after Zi Yan had left, Shen Bijin walked in. Are you dissatisfied with my decision? Asked the palace master. Disciple would not dare, said Shen Bijin hastily. Would not dare? Haha, <laughs> all right then. I really am a bit biased toward Zi Yan. To tell the truth, I was never very fond of you, said the palace master. Shen Bijin's expression changed. I don't understand what you mean. Don't worry, I'm just speaking frankly. Do you know why I don't like you? Asked the palace master. Is it that disciple is too foolish? You're wrong. Your talent, your comprehension ability, your karmic luck. They're all superior to Zi Yan. Are you curious why despite being so great, I still chose Zi Yan as my successor? The palace master stared at Shen Bijin deeply. It's because your heart has always contained a trace of wild ambition that cannot be erased. Your desires are too great. I you don't need to explain yourself. The elusive music immortal palace cultivates the heart. Using music to peer into the heavens. Not only is your heart clear to me but it was also shown clearly to all the elders in the palace today. To tell the truth, if it weren't for that wild ambition, your current accomplishments would be even greater, and I would have long since given the successor position to you. Then what should I do? Please guide me. Shen Bijin suddenly knelt on the ground pleadingly. There's nothing anyone can do. This is your primal desire hidden in the deepest part of your heart. But since you're so attached to the palace master position, I can give you one chance. If you can kill Long Chen, then once your cultivation base reaches the appropriate level, I will give you the palace master position. As long as you lend me the seven string C suppressing zither, I can definitely give you Long Chen's head, declared Shen Bijin. Don't get too excited yet. I'm not done speaking. If you kill Long Chen, then you can become the palace master. However, the elusive music Immortal Palace's major decisions are decided by a vote amongst all the elders. This is to prevent the Palace Master from being tyrannical and possibly destroying the elusive music Immortal Palace, warned the Palace Master. That's fine. 
I just wish to work for the elusive music immortal palace and save my junior apprentice sister Zi Yan from her worries, said Shen Bijin gratefully. Yes, all right, you can go. You'll have to wait for an opportunity to present itself to kill Long Chen. Hu Jinying is being tough right now, and while we don't fear her, there's no need for us to go directly against her. During this time, I will teach you how to control the seven string C suppressing zither. It'll be up to you in the end. Yes, Shen Bijin had just left when a voice rang out in the palace master's head. You are doing something very dangerous. For Zi Yan, I'm willing to do anything. That child is perfect. Except she's just too kind. Please, when Shen Bijin makes her move, assist her with your full ability. I would rather give the palace master position to Shen Bijin than allow Zi Yan to die to Long Chen, said the palace master. The one she was speaking to was the elusive music immortal palace's divine item, the seven string C suppressing zither. All right. However, prepare yourself. Long Chen isn't so easy to kill, said the seven string C suppressing zither. The palace master nodded. She looked out the gates toward the distant mountains, her heart uneasy. Could it be that Long Chen was not just Zi Yan's devil star, but also the elusive music immortal palace's devil star? Or perhaps the entire world's devil star? Chapter 1582 Negotiator Translator Born to be Long Chen calmly sat in front of the Zhuanshan Dao sect's main building, and a dozen experts wearing Pill Valley's robes were walking over from in front. They swaggered as if they were law officials investigating a criminal. These experts were all Life Star experts. However, Life Star experts weren't much in front of Long Chen anymore. Behind Long Chen was Guo Ran, Gu Yang, and the others. They indifferently stared at these people. They had come to watch the fun. Originally, Long Chen had invited Men Qi, Chu Yao, and Tang Wan Er to come, but the three of them hadn't wanted to. Conveniently, they took a vacation, deciding to go together to the Skywood Divine Palace. Chu Yao needed to go see her master and report what happened, and she also had to give her the divine life elixir to restore her youth. Long Chen thought about it and figured that the three of them should be safe. The entire eastern Xuan region was weakened due to what had happened, and most importantly, Chu Yao had a terrifying protector in the form of Lu Ruian. Even life star experts with divine items wouldn't be able to stop them. Long Chen felt very guilty toward them. As long as their safety was guaranteed, he would never stop them from doing what they wanted. If he didn't have so many things to do here, he would also want to go over and thank the Skywood Divine Palace for nurturing Chu Yao. Since Meng Qi, Chu Yao, and Tang Wan Er hadn't wanted to come, Guo Ran ended up being interested. Without them present, it meant that the others could act completely unrestrained, using any vulgar or profane language that they wanted to. Long Chen. Hello, I am began the leader of this group of Pill Valley experts. A hypocrite, sneered Long Chen, finishing his introduction. That expert's face twitched, but he swallowed his anger. The higher-ups had already told him that he was only to negotiate with Long Chen. The Zhuanshan Dao sect's method of greeting its guests is really unique, praised the leader. It seemed he was an expert at negotiating, and he smiled lightly instead of getting angry. First of all, you aren't our guest. What guest would be so stupid as to run to the host's house and destroy it, then come back with a smile and act like nothing had happened? And you say you aren't a hypocrite? Asked Long Chen. He leaned back in his chair and put his feet up on the table. It seems your Zhuanshan Dao sect has no intention of reconciling. Asked the leader coldly. Reconciling? Are you an idiot? Do you think words can make up for Pill Valley killing so many people of my Zhuanshan Dao sect? sneered Long Chen. Don't act like you're the magnanimous person wanting to reconcile. Or are you telling me that you don't even know what your side has done? The images of Pill Valley attacking the Zhuanshan Dao sect have filled the streets. Everyone on the Martial Heaven continent knows of it. With such irrefutable evidence, you're not able to control the public opinion any longer. That's the only reason you've come today. Since you've come, you've admitted to your mistakes. So hurry up and get to the point. How much money are you going to compensate us with? With Jung Wenlong's help, there was a copy of that photographic jade in practically everyone's hands. Even in a random ditch beside a street, it was possible to pick up a copy. 
This news had shaken the entire martial heaven continent. At the same time, Hu Jinying had come out and pointed her sword at Pill Valley. The righteous path was no longer under Pill Valley's control, and the sects that were dissatisfied with Pill Valley all began to loudly criticize them. They claimed to be neutral but had secretly colluded with so many different powers, even using divine items to attack an ancient sect of the righteous path. That was a grave sin. Although Pill Valley had sent out news that they had killed the main conspirators, including the Flame Divine Palace's master and Vice Palace masters, the damage was already done. That might have shut some people's mouths, but things weren't over. In the end, the real victim was the Zhuanshan Dao sect. The Zhuanshan Dao sect's attitude was what mattered. If Pill Valley was unable to settle this matter, then Pill Valley could give up their thoughts of continuing to do business with the Righteous Path. The current Huaian sect was already focusing on their alchemy business. They were providing a huge amount of medicinal pills each year. Recently, the Huaian sect's medicinal pills had grown especially abundant. There were as many available as people wanted. Their sales might even be greater than Pill Valley in that regard. In truth, that was because those medicinal pills had been the pills Long Chen had snatched from Pill Valley and given to the Huaian sect. The Huaian sect wouldn't need to worry about running out of medicinal pills for at least a few years. This was a fatal blow to Pill Valley. They had to placate the Zhuanshan Dao sect in order to placate the Righteous Path. Pill Valley might not be afraid of the Zhuanshan Dao sect, but they couldn't be as indifferent when it came to the Huaian sect. The Huaian sect's business domain was not reaching into their bowl. If this continued, even their bowl would be snatched. Long Chen knew all of this, which was why he didn't waste time with pleasantries. All he wanted to know was how much they were offering. Pill Valley sympathizes with the unfortunate event that occurred to the Zhuanshan Dao sect for such degenerates to appear within Pill Valley makes us very ashamed don't play this game with me. Just tell me how much money you have for compensation Long Chen waved his hand. Such childish and meaningless words were irritating. The elder's expression grew unnatural. Long Chen was even more difficult to deal with than he had expected. Long Chen didn't give the elder any chance to test his bottom line. Negotiation required testing the other side's minimum and then haggling based on both sides' limits. However, Long Chen simply repeatedly asked how much money he was offering. There was no way for him to reply to that. Starting too low would be offensive, while starting too high was not beneficial to the haggling. Can I know if you have any suggestions? asked the elder. He didn't want to start things off by saying his bottom line. Me? It's simple. For the damage done to the Zhuanshan Dao sect, including its buildings, mountains, treasures, etc., pay us back 100 times the cost, said Long Chen indifferently. A hundred times? That's impossible, roared the elder. Is a hundred times a lot? What a joke. This is already a nice offer. Who asked you to be so despicable as to sneak attack the Zhuanshan Dao sect? demanded Long Chen. I've already said. It was done by some traitors. We've already then were those people not from your pill valley. Well exactly. Killing them was just cleaning up your sect it was your own internal matter. However, their actions represent pill valley. And pill valley has to pay back the debts. That's simply a principle. Said Long Chen disdainfully. A hundred times is too much. At most. I can offer. Ten times. A hundred times. Fifteen times. A hundred times. Damn it. Twenty times should be enough. Right. Raged the elder. A hundred times. You. You aren't negotiating at all. You have to lower your price. Roared the elder. He had never encountered such a person in his life. I just like the number one hundred. I'm no good at negotiating. But I do like hacking people with my saber. In any case. One hundred times is one hundred times. Said Long Chen. Then what about when you destroyed the Eastern Xuan region's pill tower? How are you planning on compensating for that damage raged the elder? That's simply karma. It was your side that planted the seeds for that. If you want to go find someone to blame, find those old ghosts that you killed. Perhaps those old ghosts, which should have died, are still alive. Long Chen smiled sinisterly. Although Pill Valley had publicly shown the images of those experts dying, including the Flame Divine Palace's master, Long Chen knew that he hadn't really died. That person was definitely just a scapegoat. 
The elder raged. What are you talking about? Even the valley master was enraged by what happened and gave all those traitors the death penalty. Ha ha ha. I won't argue with you over this. In any case, it's still 100 times. If you don't like it, then scram. Long Chen flapped his hand at them. 50 times is the most I can give you. It can't go any higher. The elder clenched his teeth. All right, have a safe trip. Long Chen directly stood and turned to leave. Hey, don't go. We're still talking. The elder became dumbfounded. Li Xiangxuan had left everything about the Zhuangshan Dao sect to Long Chen. If Long Chen left, these negotiations would fall apart. I don't like haggling. 100 times. Take it or leave it, said Long Chen. Let me discuss this with everyone. The elder hesitated and clenched his teeth, bringing his people into a corner. They argued for a long time over this compensation. It seemed the high price had caused conflict amongst them. However, in the end, they calmed down and ran back. One hundred times is truly too high, but through our efforts stop wasting words. Do you accept or not? If you do, then we can start discussing the details, interrupted Long Chen. All right, I've recorded everything here with the photographic jade, and neither side can back out. Otherwise, if the photographic jades were spread, they would end up becoming a despicable petty person, laughed the elder. Now he looked to be a wily old fox. Clearly, 100 times had not surpassed his limit. In fact, it seemed it was much lower than he had expected. All his fury had been an act. You old bastard, raged Guo Ran. They had actually been schemed against. Long Chen held Guo Ran back and indifferently said, I've also activated a photographic jade. Don't worry, both our words have to count. Here, these are the details of the damage to the Zhuangshan Dao sect. It includes our 108 main mountains, over 9,000 buildings, 30,000 pieces of equipment. Long Chen rattled off a list, while the elder recorded everything. In the end, the elder said, according to that, the damages cost around 350,000 spirit crystals. A hundred times that would be 35 million spirit crystals. I will send them over within three days. Spirit stones were the normal currency in the cultivation world. They went from low grade, middle grade, high grade, and top grade. As for spirit crystals, they were even above top grade spirit stones. 35 million of them was an absolutely terrifying sum. However, to Pill Valley, it wasn't much. The elder smiled with satisfaction. All right, excellent. Then the calculations for the damage are complete. Now let's calculate the price for the lives of the disciples and commoners from the Zhuangshan Dao sect that you killed. Long Chen also had a smile. However, his smile looked even more sinister. The elder's face immediately turned green. Chapter 1583 Boss, you really are evil translator. Born to be what is that supposed to mean? Demanded the elder coldly. Are you acting stupid in front of me? You killed over 80 million commoners of the Zhuangshan Dao sect did you forget? Asked Long Chen. TCH. Lowly commoners are nothing more than ants. Are they worth compensating for? According to that, wouldn't each blade of grass and each insect of your Zhuangshan Dao sect require compensation demanded the elder. Long Chen slapped the elder in the face, sending him flying outside. The other experts in his group hastily flew over to help him up only to see that he had fainted from the slap. He only slowly woke thanks to their efforts. Lowly commoners are ants? Do you think you're a god? In front of me, you are just an ant. I can crush you with a single finger. Thus, can I also kill you whenever I want? Demanded Long Chen, pointing at the desolate wasteland around them. He said, there were 80 million commoners here. Some of them were disciples who came from the eastern wasteland, southern sea. Western Desert, and Northern Source and failed the trial. However, they didn't want to leave, so they stayed behind. They knew there was no hope for them, but they hoped that their descendants could make their dreams a reality. Their hopes and dreams were stripped away by you along with their lives. Do you really feel no guilt? Long Chen, stop trying to act so grand. How many people do you think you've killed? If everyone came to find you for revenge and compensation, then even 10,000 of your lives wouldn't be enough, sneered the elder. He could tell that Long Chen had no intention of reconciling. Ever since ancient times, 
In the battles against sects, the casualties of the commoners were never taken into consideration. Long Chen was intentionally trying to find trouble with Pill Valley. I don't even know how many heavenly geniuses I've killed, but I can guarantee this. I've never killed anyone innocent. From a small empire in the eastern wasteland, my path has been one of my enemy's bones. However, my conscience is clear. I have nothing to feel guilty about. But what about you? Pill Valley used despicable means to secretly destroy the Zhuanchen Dao sect if you really had gods. You would have come openly, but instead you brought a bunch of dogs to do your dirty work and blamed me. Then you had a bunch of brainless idiots follow the dogs to bite me. Killing those people doesn't affect my conscience at all. Are you even fit to be compared to me? Either pay up or scram. The Zhuanchen Dao sect doesn't need your money. If it weren't for getting justice for the commoners you killed, I wouldn't even be willing to see you. Your Pill Valley can pay for this justice or you can not pay for it. In either case, I don't care, said Long Chen. Pill Valley's experts clenched their teeth. The elder took a deep breath and said, What do you want? Since those traitors came from Pill Valley, Pill Valley won't shirk responsibility. Long Chen was a bit surprised. Why had his tone changed so suddenly? However, he quickly noticed a bracelet on the elder's arm sparkling. Most likely, someone had sent him a message. His guess was that Pill Valley's higher-ups were using the bracelet to see what was happening here and to communicate with the elder. With the elder's bargaining style, he definitely wouldn't say such binding words. This was just an act, a high attitude for others to see. It was to show the world how magnanimous Pill Valley was. Only like this could they win back Pill Valley's lost prestige. Long Chen would bet money that the one who had sent this order down was Yu Ziaoyan. How refreshing. Then I won't try to cheat you. We'll calculate them according to the normal standards for the life of cultivators. I won't even count them as life star experts. For an ordinary soul transformation expert, the cost is at least 100 top grade spirit stones. At a hundred times, it would be 10,000 top grade spirit stones. 10,000 top grade spirit stone is one spirit crystal. So for over 80 million commoners, it's 80 million spirit crystals. I'll even get rid of the remainder for you, said Long Chen. What absolute nonsense. Those commoners were basically all at the Xi'anchen realm and below. Some of them hadn't even reached bone forging. How can you value them the same as soul transformation experts? Raged the elder. Long Chen was clearly trying to cheat them. Those commoners hadn't been able to become true members of the sect precisely because their talent was lacking. Now. Long Chen wanted to value them as soul transformation experts? That was definitely bullying. Yu Ziaoyan's goal this time was to keep the price within 35 million spirit crystals, with an absolute limit of 50 million. Otherwise, even Pill Valley would be hurt by the price. After all, it wasn't too long ago that Master Long San had caused chaos in Pill Valley, damaging them gravely. They had still yet to recover. That was why the elder had been delighted when Long Chen had agreed to a price of 35 million at first. That would have perfectly accomplished his mission. Now though, he was enraged. 80 million commoners valued at 80 million spirit crystals. Then when added to the previous 35 million, it was 115 million spirit crystals. That was far beyond the target that the valley master had asked of him. In fact, it was over double. TCH. What era do you think this is? The great era is about to descend. Heavenly geniuses are sprouting like bamboo after the spring rain. How do you know that they wouldn't break through? How do you know they wouldn't grow past the soul transformation realm, the life star realm, or even the nether passage realm? Not counting them as life star experts was already being too kind. You don't know how to appreciate kindness, said Long Chen. Kindness? Haha, <laughs> what a joke. The elder laughed furiously. How many of those elders had already been about to reach the end of their longevity? How many of them were just waiting for death? Don't you think it's funny to say that they could still break through? Fine, then we can go according to what you just said. I admit the majority of those 80 million commoners were old. I'll exclude those 60 million people. That way, the remaining ones are all in their youth and could still break through, said Long Chen. To immediately remove 60 million was good for Pill Valley. That way, 
they would only have to compensate them with an additional 20 million, and adding the previous portion, it was 55 million, that was just barely acceptable, that's fair, said the elder, he didn't say anything explicitly about it, Long Chen easily saw through that, and he continued, all right, then let's continue calculating, of those 20 million young disciples, there were men and women, how many children would they have given birth to in just one year? I'll say around 5 million. In 10 years, that would be 50 million. As for after 30 years, I won't bother you with that. So how many children would be born within 30 years? If I kept calculating each and every generation that was born, that would be a bit too much. So just 30 years is definitely fair. So, we're counting it as 20 million people whose descendants were cut off because of you. Just compensating 30 years is definitely not cheating you, said Long Chen lightly. Long Chen's indifferent words made Li Shi Yangsuan and the old Xuan master shake their heads. They were watching his negotiations from within the Zhuanchen Tower. The old Xuan master sighed. This little fellow Long Chen really is shameless. How could things be calculated like that? Li Shi Yangsuan shook his head. Master, you don't know this, but Long Chen grew up in a poor environment. He feels close to those commoners, and he dislikes those arrogant, lofty existences. He acts according to his own viewpoint and doesn't care about some big picture. His actions are obstinate and self-opinionated, and yet, those words also aren't too suitable for him because his actions are always for justice, not selfishness. The old Xuan master nodded. Long Chen's style of doing things was related to his experiences. The two of them simply continued watching. Hill Valley's elder was so infuriated that he was about to explode. In all his years, he had encountered many tough negotiators, but he had never encountered someone as unreasonable as Long Chen. This was clearly fallacious reasoning. It was as ridiculous as a chicken birthing an egg which birthed a chicken which birthed an egg which birthed a chicken. If this wasn't extortion, then what was? The elder didn't say anything to Long Chen. Long Chen's attitude was clear. He was a completely unreasonable person, and nothing the elder said would be useful against him. After half an incense stick's worth of silence, he finally said, Since this was done by Pill Valley's traders, Pill Valley will pay the debt. We will pay for the commoners according to how you specified within the Zhuanchen Tower. The old Xuan master was startled. They really had accepted. However, Li Shi Yangsuan wasn't surprised. Pill Valley had no choice but to suffer this time. After all, the entire continent was watching them. Even if they were cheated, they had to endure it. At the very least, enduring meant that they could maintain Pill Valley's dignity and reputation. This was a pain that they had to go through. Otherwise, it would be even worse when their reputation hit rock bottom. All right, then once this compensation arrives, this matter between Pill Valley and the Zhuanchen Dao sect will be over, said Long Chen. Pill Valley will send you the money within three days. After saying that, the elder left with his people without ever looking back. Once they left, Guo Ran asked, Boss, is our conflict with Pill Valley resolved now? TCH, resolved my ass. Remember, lives cannot be bought with money. The only reason why I bothered speaking with them was to first get some interest on their debt to us. We'll hack them down later. Didn't I say that the Zhuanchen Dao sect's matter ends here? However, that doesn't represent that my personal enmity ends here. We'll still kill who we should kill in the future. Understood? Asked Long Chen. Boss, you really are evil. Praised Guo Ran. Chapter 1584 Once more encountering troubles translator. Born to be Long Chen shook his head. This isn't evil. Pill Valley is also thinking like this. They only lowered their heads this time to win their reputation back and I refuse to believe that they don't understand what I said. They're already scheming on how to bring us down. Our enmity with Pill Valley has been completely set in stone. If Pill Valley has a chance, they won't hesitate to destroy the Zhuanchen Dao sect and if I have a chance, I definitely won't let them off easy. Don't get taken in by appearances. The Zhuanchen Dao sect looks like it's rising, but in terms of foundation, it cannot compare to Pill Valley. It might look like we got a large sum from Pill Valley, but to their sales of medicinal pills over tens of thousands of years, it's nothing. Medicinal pills are the most profitable business. 
They've held monopolies for so many years. No one knows how much wealth they've accumulated. Of course, Pill Valley won't just let that money rot away. They definitely have the ability to transform that wealth into terrifying power. The most powerful existence in this world is money. Why is it that Pill Valley can act so tyrannical to everyone except the Huaian sect? Because the Huaian sect has money. The Zhuanshan Dao sect doesn't have a matching wealth for its sudden rise. There are many newcomers that the sect has to raise now, and that's all money. Furthermore, the sect must be rebuilt. With the Great Era coming, it must be rebuilt as fast as possible. That all requires an ocean's worth of resources. So don't get confused by our victory now. As soon as someone loses their sense of crisis, the real crisis comes. Everyone's hearts shook. After the battle in the Grand Han, Long Chen's name had shaken the very heavens, and the Dragonblood Legion's name had rocked the world. They truly had felt very satisfied with that unrivaled state. Only now did they realize that it was too early to be happy. Things were far from as simple as they seemed. Everyone, go into seclusion. Guo Ran, you stay behind. Once everyone had left, Guo Ran laughed mischievously. Boss. Are you giving this little brother some special treatment? This little fellow was craftier than a monkey. Long Chen was speechless as Guo Ran had guessed right. Yes, this time, I gained some new heavenly Tao fruits. However, it's a bit different from what I imagined Long Chen brought Guo Ran somewhere private and took out a heavenly Tao fruit. This heavenly Tao fruit was different from before. Before, a heavenly Tao fruit had 1 to 9 marks depending on the rank of the celestial. However, this one had no marks. It was translucent, and the inside was a mass of primal chaos. This time, he had gained 16 of these heavenly Tao fruits. Amongst them included Hu Shaolin and Jin Mingwei's whose manifestations had reached a state of initial awakening. However, Long Chen found that all of them were the same. The energy fluctuations were also identical. There was no way to ascertain which ones came from Hu Shaolin or Jin Mingwei. Long Chen guessed that the Heavenly Tao Tree only absorbed their Heavenly Tao energy, but not their manifestation. Their actual manifestation returned to the heavens. Eat one as a test. Long Chen handed a Heavenly Tao fruit over. Boss, you really treat me well. Guo Ran was grateful. He knew that in the Dragonblood Legion, he was the only one to obtain this Heavenly Tao fruit. Yup, eat it. Guo Ran devoured it in three gulps. As the heavenly Tao fruit entered his stomach, Guo Ran's expression changed. He suddenly found that his heavenly Tao energy was evaporating out of his control. It was actually dissipating. Boss, cried Guo Ran. Long Chen's expression was also serious. As expected, the heavenly Tao energy of Empyreans was marked by the heavenly Daos. Unless someone was approved by the heavenly Daos, there was no way to absorb it. Not only could Guo Ran not absorb it, but his rank 9 celestial status was also being stripped away. It was like someone was caught cheating during a test. Not only were their cheating tools taken away, but even their current accomplishments were eliminated. Summon your armor and see if you can lock it in, said Long Chen. Guo Ran hastily summoned his armor, covering his entire body. Countless runes lit up. Boss, it's no good, cried Guo Ran. He was unable to lock in his dissipating energy. Like using a bamboo basket to hold water, there was no way to make it work by just trying harder. Long Chen placed a hand on his back. Don't move. Let me see if I can help you control it. Long Chen sent his spiritual yuan throughout Guo Ran's body, forming a barrier to lock the energy in. However, no matter how he tried to stop it, he was unable to stop the heavenly Tao energy from escaping. A person had too many acupuncture points. If Long Chen used his full power, he could forcibly suppress that energy. He felt like there was an 80% chance of success in suppressing it. However, that would cause Guo Ran's body to explode instantly. Even Gu Yang would be unable to bear that impact. Long Chen pulled back his hand, and Guo Ran felt like he was a deflating balloon. All his heavenly Tao energy escaped. Boss, what happened? Asked Guo Ran. It's fine. It's just that your heavenly Tao energy disappeared and you're no longer a celestial, said Long Chen. Ah, how is that fine? Guo Ran jumped. If he didn't have heavenly Tao energy, he would basically be crippled. Don't worry, the reason I chose you to test is because you have your armor. 
I wanted to see if that could lock it in. Since it can't, it means this wouldn't work for anyone else either. This experiment is a failure, said Long Chen helplessly. What the fuck? So you were just using me as a guinea pig. Why was I so grateful? Guo Ran had a desire to cry tearless tears. Don't worry. Someone had to test it. Since directly consuming it is no good, I'll come up with some medicinal formulas to refine the heavenly Tao fruit into heavenly Tao pills. Go and distribute these rank 9 heavenly Tao fruits. The entire dragon blood legion will be full of rank 9 celestials. Long Chen handed a spatial ring to Guo Ran. The spatial ring was packed with just enough rank 9 heavenly Tao fruits to transform each rank 7 and rank 8 celestial in the dragon blood legion into a rank 9 celestial. Their gains during the last battle were truly great. The dragon blood legion's power was about to rise once more. The only thing that depressed Long Chen was that the experiment had failed, resulting in him wasting a possible Empyrean appearing in the Dragon Blood Legion. However, fortunately he had used Guo Ran as an experiment first. Otherwise, if he had distributed them at the start, they would all be wasted. Long Chen first ran over to Li Xiangxuan to see the situation with the formation. The cost of the formation Xia Chen had sent was absolutely terrifying. If Pill Valley pays in full, then adding on our current wealth, we can finish about 80% of the formation. As for the remaining 20%, we can think of something in the future. In any case, building such a huge formation will require a long time, said Li Xiangxuan. How long would it take to reconstruct the Zhuanshan Dao sect? Asked Long Chen. About a hundred years, said Li Xiangxuan. A hundred years? That's way too long. Long Chen almost jumped. A hundred years is already very fast. You should know that when the Zhuanshan Dao sect was first built, it took 800 years. By the time the formations and buildings were fully built, it had been a thousand years. If you want to complete it faster, it'll take even more manpower and resources. We don't have the money, said Li Xiangxuan. It was just as Long Chen said. The Zhuanshan Dao sect didn't have enough money as a foundation. The main reason was due to the long period of decline. Even though they had revived, their pockets were still empty, and it took a long time to accumulate wealth. Wealth was even more important to a sect's foundation than geniuses. Even so, it's too long. We can't wait that long. Long Chen shook his head. I understand. With the great era coming, heavenly geniuses are sprouting up, and countless hibernating sects are awakening. This is an era where countless flowers bloom and strive to outshine the others. However, it's also the most dangerous era. The slightest carelessness will cause one to be washed out of the era. Unfortunately, we can only do it this way. Just because you want to build it faster doesn't mean that we can, said Li Xiangxuan helplessly. I understand why we can't, and you understand why we must. But it's still no good. This formation relates to the Zhuanshan Dao sect's life and death. It has to be constructed in as short of a time as possible, said Long Chen decisively. Although he had the support of the Wine God Palace and the Zhuanshan Dao sect, and even Ku Jianying had warned others that she would protect Long Chen, he could not entrust the lives of his brothers and himself in the hands of others. That wouldn't give any sense of safety. The formation that Xia Chen had sent over had been studied by Li Xiangxuan. It was a formation that had vanished from the earth, and it was extremely powerful. If they could construct this formation, then the Zhuanshan Dao sect would have established a confident foothold even within the Great Era. That was why this formation was a must for Long Chen. It had to be built as fast as possible. A hundred years was too long. Who knew what would happen in a hundred years? What if someone attacked in the middle of the construction and ruined everything? Then how long do you want? Asked Li Xiangxuan. One to two years, said Long Chen. Li Xiangxuan and the old Xuan master sucked in a cold gasp of air. Li Xiangxuan said, ignoring whether or not that's physically possible. Even if it is, the cost of building it that quickly will be ten times greater than the original estimation, said Li Xiangxuan. Constructing the Zhuanshan Dao sect wasn't just building houses. The formation had many runes that needed to be nourished for a long time. To have them mature in a short time would require more resources, more wealth. The cost was staggering. That's fine. Xuan Master, you can get started with planning and building the foundation. 
I'll think of something for the rest. Long Chen left the Zhuangshan Tower under the shocked gazes of Li Xiangxuan and the old Xuan Master. He told the Dragonblood warriors to focus on their cultivation, and he left the Zhuangshan Dao sect alone. Going directly to the heaven splitting battle sect, he didn't dare to tarry. With the old man's temper, who knew whether or not he would directly charge the Nether Passage realm in his fury? Without fully preparing, his odds of failure were too high. Chapter 1585 Explosive Temper Translator Born to be Aya, who kicked me in the butt? Fuck off, who grabbed my pants? Bang, 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 Aya, my eyes. When Long Chen arrived at the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect, a group of dozens of disciples were brawling at the gate. All of their faces were bruised, and as their fists met flesh, they seemed to get quite a kick out of it. No matter how many people were present, the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect was always like this. They were very lively. Wait a sec. Big Brother Long Chen has come. Aya a disciple suddenly saw Long Chen and cried out, only to have another disciple knock him down. Do you think we're idiots? You've tried that move 300 times now, sneered the puncher, continuing to fight. The disciples didn't get distracted and continued fighting like it was a joy, leaving Long Chen speechless. Hey, can you help me out and get out the way so I can go? Asked Long Chen, but no one acknowledged him. Suddenly, Long Chen's divine ring appeared, and a powerful surge of power blew away the disciples. They tumbled back like calabashes. Big brother Long Chen really came. The disciples crawled up wretchedly, looking at Long Chen with surprise. Big brother Long Chen, come teach us how to get stronger. One of those disciples ran over worshipfully. You're already very strong. Can you wipe off your snot first? Long Chen couldn't bear to talk to a disciple whose face was covered in blood, sweat, snot, and tears. Big brother Long Chen. We all saw how heroic you were in the Grand Han. Can you teach us how to do the same? We want to get stronger too, cried a disciple. He was already a sea expansion expert, which was already quite talented for his age. His eyes blazed with passion as he stared at Long Chen. No problem. I'll think of some special medicinal pills that should change your constitution seeing these disciples looking at him like a god. Long Chen could only come up with a vague reply. Those disciples went wild with joy, as if a single word from Long Chen would be able to transform them into peerless experts. That couldn't be blamed on them. The legend of the Dragonblood Legion had shaken the continent. None of them had been that talented, but by following Long Chen, their cultivation bases had advanced by leaps and bounds. They weren't one bit inferior to the core disciples that other sects had raised with their full power. That was thanks to Long Chen. Long Chen hastily ran up the mountain after saying a few words to them. Hearing that Long Chen had come, the bosses came out as well. I want to see the old man, said Long Chen. I don't think that's a good idea. I just came from his house. He said that he's attacking the Nether Passage realm today and to not disturb him, said Boss Bao. This quickly, Long Chen was startled, hastily saying, hurry up and interrupt him before he starts his attempt. I came precisely for this. Boss Bao was stunned, but seeing Long Chen's panic, he pulled Long Chen and the other bosses to the top of the mountain. At the peak of the mountain was the old man. The heaven splitting blade was revolving around his head, enveloping him in divine light. He was currently sitting with his eyes closed. Senior, please permit disciple to interrupt the old man's cultivation. Disciple has something very important to report. Long Chen knew that the Heaven Splitting Blade was currently protecting the old man. If Long Chen wanted to disturb him, he would need the Heaven Splitting Blade's approval. The Heaven Splitting Blade actually did retract its divine light. The old man slowly opened his eyes. Fuck. I just told you not to disturb me. You oh, brat. What are you doing here? The old man was irritated at being disturbed. But his fury calmed down when he saw Long Chen. Boss Bao and the other side with relief. After returning from the Grand Han, the old man's temper had grown more explosive. If Long Chen wasn't present now, they would definitely have to face a beating. Boss Bao, you guys go rest. I need to speak to the old man alone. Long Chen cast a glance at Boss Bao and the others. Inside, Boss Bao and the others gave him a thumbs up. 
feeling like Long Chen was handling this for them so that they wouldn't have to face the old man's rage. The seven of them left without hesitation. Long Chen turned to the old man. I suppose I made it in time. I came to give you something. Long Chen handed over a jade case. This was the jade case Ku Jianying had given Long Chen to pass to the old man. The jade box contained some of her experiences when advancing to the Nether Passage realm. It was precisely what the old man needed. It could increase his chances of advancing. This was something Senior Ku Jianying told me to give to you. As for its use, I'm sure you know. Long Chen didn't conceal the truth at all. Bastard. How can you be so godless? You just randomly accept other people's things. The old man, whose fury had just dissipated, immediately reignited again. Long Chen took a deep breath. He snorted. Old man, the reason I respect you isn't because of your cultivation base, but because I thought you were a man. But now I find that I was wrong. Brat, are you looking for a beating? Who are you calling unmanly? The old man became even angrier, and he gripped his wooden staff ready to beat Long Chen. Just look, all I did was say a few words and you got so angry. If you don't even have that much magnanimity, how can you be called a man? Long Chen shrugged, not even looking at the wooden staff. The old man glared at him. I've been strong my whole life without depending on other people's charity. Little brat, have you turned traitor after accepting bribes from others? Ha, huh, I happen to be a magnanimous person. Someone who can buy me has yet to be born, said Long Chen disdainfully. Are you cursing me for being narrow-minded? In the end, the old man's staff still fell toward Long Chen. A black light flashed as Long Chen blocked with Evil Moon. The staff was also a powerful divine item, and their collision caused the mountain to shake. Unable to win with words. So you angrily attack someone? Isn't that precisely what a petty little person would do? Shouted Long Chen. Brat, do you think I'm too old to handle you? The old man furiously struck Long Chen three times. The Battle God Sacred Cannon was also a cultivation technique that pursued great physical power, and the old man's power was so great that not even the bosses could endure his attacks. However, Long Chen repeatedly received his attacks with Evil Moon. He appeared extremely relaxed. When it came to simple brute power, Long Chen had never feared anyone. If you really have any ability, then we can both fight without the power of our cultivation bases or battle skills. We can fight like men, shouted Long Chen. Boss Bao and the others stared at him in shock. Just what was going on? Why would they suddenly start fighting? Little brat, even without the power of my cultivation base or any techniques, I can still put you down. Today, if I don't give you a proper lesson. You'll grow completely unbridled the old man roared, and his black staff repeatedly struck, moving so fast that black images filled the air. If you don't use your cultivation base, I'll definitely defeat you today. Get ready to lose, old man. Noveloon.com Long Chen fearlessly began a crazy competition with the old man, both sides relying on pure physical power. The two of them fought in the sky. Heaven and earth turned dark. Startling all the heaven splitting battle sects disciples. Heavens, Big Brother Long Chen has challenged the old man. Could it be that he wants the sect leader position? If he does beat the old man, then he'd be our new sect leader. He could let us to slaughter our enemies every day. How amazing would that be? Big Brother Long Chen, I'm cheering for you. Big Brother Long Chen, work hard. Beat the old man and become our sect leader. You can do it. Beat the old man. Countless cheers for Long Chen rose throughout the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect. The Heaven Splitting Battle Sect had never concealed their worship for the strong or their unreasonable nature. Just how mighty had Long Chen been during the battle in the Grand Han? He had dominated everyone in the same realm, killing his enemies until their corpses piled up like mountains. They also wished to be the same as the Dragonblood Legion and fight alongside Long Chen, crushing their enemies. All of them had hot. Warlike blood flowing in their veins. Boss Bao and the others stared at each other, not knowing what to say. It couldn't be that Long Chen really wanted the sect leader position, right? You bastards. Just wait for me to put you in your place. You're rebelling. Is that it? Raged the old man. His attacks became fiercer, but he found that Long Chen's fighting style was too strange. There was no pattern. 
Sometimes his attacks were heavy. Sometimes he was as agile as an elf. Sometimes he fought in an imposing style. Sometimes his technique would become bizarre and unique. There was no way for the old man to suppress him with power, and in terms of technique, he was unable to get any advantage. After two hours, the old man's tempest of attacks was unable to do anything to Long Chen. The distant disciples were cheering for Long Chen even louder now. The old man found that both infuriating and funny. He was extremely proud of Long Chen inside. He was happy with Long Chen's power, but he kept on a stern face. However, after six hours, his expression started changing. After fighting at such a high tempo, his energy was starting to flag. While Long Chen was still fighting as usual, the old man had plenty of spiritual yuan, but Long Chen had sealed it up with this challenge. Now that it was purely a competition of physical strength, he was at a disadvantage. Long Chen's physical body was monstrous. Boom. Suddenly, Long Chen was sent flying by one of the old man's attacks, smashing into the ground. Dust filled the air. Chapter 1586 Settled Translator Born to be what just happened. He, he lost. The disciples who had turned red in the face from cheering for Long Chen were all disappointed. You little brats. How old do you think Long Chen is? Did you think he could challenge the old man? He was just letting Long Chen show off his skills before. When he fights seriously. Of course Long Chen isn't a match for him. Hurry up and scram. The ones shouting. You should know that the old man heard it all clearly. Prepare your last testaments and graves, shouted the seventh boss. Those disciples' expressions immediately changed. Long Chen was defeated and the old man's fury was about to explode. Although it wasn't as exaggerated as the seventh boss made it sound, they would definitely have to suffer a beating. The seven bosses shooed the disciples away, glancing at each other. They also vanished, leaving behind only the old man and Long Chen. The old man looked at Long Chen who was wretchedly crawling up from the ground. He didn't know what he was feeling now. He knew Long Chen had intentionally let him get that last attack in to give him face. In that instant, he suddenly felt a great deal of self-blame. Even after living so many years, he had to be so competitive. In that regard, he was even worse than a child. Come here. The old man slowly flew to the mountain peak and called out to Long Chen. Long Chen patted off the dust and also flew over. He smiled at him. Old man, you're still so healthy at your age. I'll probably need to train for another hundred years. Scram. I haven't grown senile yet. If you won, then you won. Do you think I need you to let me win? Snorted the old man. Even someone as powerful as the old man had to admit that Long Chen's physical body was too monstrous. If they just fought with physical power then he couldn't suppress Long Chen. After all, he was already old. While Long Chen was in his prime, even if he didn't want to admit it, he had to accept it. Although the old man was irritated at losing, he was very proud as well. After all, Long Chen was also a disciple of the heaven-splitting battle sect. His glory was the heaven-splitting battle sect's glory. Child, I can understand what you're trying to say. But, said the old man, old man, Let's not talk about that for now. Let me ask you, in your generation of disciples, are you the only one left? Yes, the rest all died, either to heavenly tribulation or on the battlefield, said the old man with a flash of pain in his eyes. He was recalling his memories of his time as a disciple of the heaven-splitting battle sect. Were you unable to protect them because you weren't strong enough at that time? The old man was silent for a long time before simply sighing. There's nothing more painful than watching your comrades die in front of you while powerless to save them. In the spirit world, I lost 500 of my good brothers, and I'm profoundly aware of that pain and helplessness. Although I didn't give up any chance to get stronger, the heavens are simply merciless and are set on pulling away everyone I love. That's why I swore to one day topple these blind heavens. I feel like I didn't do enough, but you are even worse. For your own face. You'd betray Senior Kuh's good intentions. Don't be in a hurry to interrupt me. Let me finish. You consider Senior Kuh's kindness as a kind of charity, a kind of pity, or perhaps a kind of insult. However, do you remember when I first came to the heaven-splitting battle sect? 
I will always remember how Boss Bao greeted me with two punches. You said that because I didn't ask for help from the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect, I didn't treat you as family. But what about now? Aren't you also doing the same to Senior Ku? The old man's expression changed slightly. Huge waves rose in his heart. People were able to see others clearly, but it was difficult to see oneself clearly because there was no mirror. Now, Long Chen had raised a mirror in front of him, allowing him to see himself. He was too obstinate, never reflecting on his actions. He was willful and had hurt someone without even knowing it. Long Chen nodded inside. Things were going well. It was time to strike while the iron was still hot. Old man, the era is changing. Many powerful existences are reviving, and heavenly geniuses are rising like spring bamboo. When the great era comes, the competition will grow even bloodier. For you, Senior Ku is willing to take responsibility for everything that happened in the Eastern Xuan region. Even though she is a Nether Passage expert, being surrounded by enemies like that is still very dangerous. Why does she do that? Isn't it because of you? Do you not feel anything after she does so much for you? The old man looked into the distance, not saying anything. Long Chen suddenly realized just how strong the old man's feelings were toward Ku Jinying. However, his pride did not allow him to submit to a woman. The old man felt that accepting the Jade case was equivalent to lowering his head to Ku Jinying. Old man, what if there comes a day when senior Ku Jinying is besieged by enemies and falls in front of you? How would you feel? Asked Long Chen upon seeing the old man struggling. Who would dare? The old man immediately stood up, his hair standing on end like an angry lion. Don't say something so laughable. People still dare to target the people beside me no matter how many of them I have killed. I guarantee that sometime in the future, someone will target senior Ku Jinying. Struggling over your decision just because of your pride and face shows that you don't have senior Ku Jinying in your heart said Long Chen. Bullshit. The old man furiously grabbed the jade case in Long Chen's hand. HMPH. When have I ever been afraid? Isn't it just looking through this damn thing? Seeing him accept the jade case. Long Chen sighed with relief inside. In truth, the old man truly did care for Ku Jinying. It was just that he cared too much about his face. Both of them were too obstinate and didn't know how to properly communicate. As soon as they opened their mouths. It was like gunpowder went off. They always ended up saying tough words. Words that could easily hurt the other. They might feel regret over that. But they refused to apologize. Long Chen knew that one reason the heaven splitting battle sect could be so unreasonable in the eastern Xuan region to the point that no one dared to touch them wasn't just because of how powerful the old man was. Another part of it was because of Ku Jinying's secret care. What are you smiling about? Do I need to beat you? The old man raised his staff upon seeing Long Chen's pleased smile. Long Chen knew the old man's character. Since he had accepted it, he wouldn't go back on it. Long Chen had already succeeded. Having achieved victory, he didn't hold back his smile. Old people shouldn't be so angry all the time. You should learn from me. A man should be tough to outsiders but magnanimous to their family. Who doesn't have some flaws? Forgiving others for their mistakes isn't a bad thing. You forgive others, they forgive you. Sometimes there's no such thing as fairness between two people or any need to talk about reasons. As a man, carrying a bit more, enduring a bit more, doesn't that only prove how magnanimous we are? Splitting hairs over minor things. Is that how a man should behave? If a woman cries when she's wronged, then a man must smile and wave it off when he's wronged. This is another kind of cultivation, an even higher realm. Don't you think so? asked Long Chen. The old man looked up and down Long Chen. He nodded. No wonder you have so many women and don't end up fighting with them. You really have some talent in this regard. The old man truly admired Long Chen. When he had met Ku Jinying in his youth, the two of them had felt extremely strongly for the other, but their tempers had been too explosive. Whenever they were together, they would argue or fight. At first, the two of them were mostly evenly matched. When they fought, both sides would win or lose some. However, later, after Ku Jinying broke through to the Nether Passage realm, their arguments grew worse. After all, Ku Jinying had become a Nether Passage expert, and she wished to guide the old man. However, with her temper, 
she wasn't suitable for it. As for the old man, he had never been good at listening to instructions. Hence, their conflicts grew more intense. Ku Jinying thought that the old man was jealous of her, while the old man thought that Ku Jinying was looking down on him. In the end, both sides said many heartless words, and they stopped seeing each other. They had finally encountered each other again in the Grand Han, and despite both feeling some remorse, they couldn't put words to that emotion. Instead, they immediately started arguing again, unable to communicate at all. That was why the old man admired Long Chen. He had always thought Long Chen was a monster for being able to have so many beautiful women who never argued with each other or with him. In the end, the heaven-splitting battle sect was packed with men. The women played the traditional role of a housewife in the background. Even if there were female disciples, they were all tomboy fighters. The male disciples all had similar tempers, and that wasn't something most women liked. As a result, Long Chen was like an exotic animal in that regard. He, do you need me to teach you a few tricks? Laughed Long Chen. All right TCH, what are you talking about? Who would need tricks from a little brat like you? Let me just see what's so interesting about the nether passage realm. The old man was just about to agree when his face flushed. At his age, what was he supposed to learn from a child? How to pick up girls. Seeing the old man was about to drive him off to open the jade case, Long Chen hastily cried. Wait a moment. I didn't just come for this. I need you to teach me the final forms of split the heavens. You want me to personally teach you? He, don't worry, I'll properly train you. The old man's eyes suddenly brightened. Long Chen felt a chill. This old fellow wouldn't be thinking of getting revenge, would he? Ah, I originally wanted you to teach me, but now I see you're so busy. Having Boss Bao teach me would be the same, so I'll take my leave now. Long Chen stood to leave. However, he was caught by the old man. Little brat. Weren't you bragging so arrogantly just now? Today, I'll properly drill split the heavens into you until I'm satisfied. Chapter 1587 Sixth Form of Split the Heavens Translator Born to be bend your front leg. Whack. More weight on your back leg. Whack. Lean forward more. Whack. Keep your abdomen tight. With each critique, the old man's staff whacked Long Chen somewhere, making the latter clench his teeth. The old man was definitely getting his revenge. The sixth form is different from the first five forms. Before, you only had to rely on your acupuncture points to unleash the power of split the heavens. However, the sixth form uses one's aura to draw out the energy of heaven and earth. So if you want to use the sixth form, you must have a powerful enough physical body to endure that energy. Remember, this movement must be done perfectly or the energy flowing through your body will become stuck. If that happens, let alone unleashing your attack, you won't even be able to move, shouted the old man to the side as he fixed Long Chen's posture. All right, continue according to what I just taught you. Slowly circulate your aura. Remember, don't touch the 54 acupuncture points in your body. Long Chen complied. This wasn't difficult for him. The only difficult thing was this strange posture. When he had attacked before, it had always been natural. He had never been forced to follow through with the prescribed form. Space shook as energy began to surge toward Long Chen. The old man kept his face stern, but he was surprised. Long Chen really was a monster. His control over his spiritual yuan was perfect. He sighed inside. This level of skill could only have come from being forced to reach this level. Long Chen had forced himself to draw out all his potential. No one knew how much he had suffered to reach this level of skill. Originally, the old man had been in the mood to continue beating him. However, with Long Chen's current display, he felt too bad to do so. Not bad. Stabilize your aura and don't touch your spiritual yuan. Have your will enter the first acupuncture point and activate it. Remember, just activate one, said the old man. Long Chen followed the old man's instructions. His spiritual yuan was still calm as using one's will to activate an acupuncture point was very difficult. Before this, he would connect all the corresponding acupuncture points at once. And now, not only did he need to do it one by one, but he also had to make sure not to touch his spiritual yuan. Activating split the heavens had almost become a reflex. 
As soon as he activated the first acupuncture point, his spiritual yuan wanted to rush forward. However, his control was still great enough that he only had to struggle for a moment to suppress that spiritual yuan. The instant he activated his first acupuncture point, Long Chen looked into the sky, surprised. There was nothing there, but he felt something there connected to his mind. It was like his senses had extended outside his body. Little fellow, you've actually found your spiritual eye, exclaimed the old man. What is this? asked Long Chen. Foolish brat, the Zhuangshan Dao sect has its myriad techniques revolving around the Dao, while the Heaven Suppressing Magic sect has its endless magical arts. However, the Heaven Splitting Battle sect only has the Battle God Sacred Canon and the Nine Forms of Split the Heavens. Do you know why despite only having these two things, we were the leader of the three great heavenly sects? I really don't. Long Chen shook his head. He didn't know that much about the heaven splitting battle sect or its past. He had never asked either. You've already broken the heaven suppressing magic sect's divine spring, removing them from this world. But you should know that back in the day, their name was enough to shake the martial heaven continent. As for the heaven splitting battle sect, we were even above them. Although I wouldn't dare to say that we were the rulers of the continent, there was definitely no one who dared to provoke us. Then we declined because the upper half of the divine tablet was lost, causing us to lose the inheritance of the nine forms of split the heavens. Before you went into Devil Spirit Mountain, our strongest technique was the sixth form of split the heavens. However, even the sixth form is incredibly powerful, far more so than the fifth form. The thing that you're sensing right now, it is a complementing place to your acupuncture points. It is like another eye that allows you to see everything around you clearly. Now, continue activating the next eight acupuncture points. Long Chen nodded and continued according to his previous experience. Activating the second acupuncture point was even easier than activating the first. The feeling he had up above him increased. From there, he was able to see himself clearly. The angle was completely different. He continued, activating the first nine acupuncture points. These were the acupuncture points required for the first form of split the heavens. However, now that he was activating them with the technique of the sixth form, something was different about them. He felt like there were nine eyes in the sky, giving him nine angles to survey the world. This was an extremely strange state. This way, when I fight, I'll be able to track my enemies easier and find openings to attack, exclaimed Long Chen. When fighting, he usually relied on his divine sense to keep an eye on his surroundings. However, in an intense fight, the powerful fluctuations harshly limited his divine sense, making his senses dull. Now, he would be able to see everything around him clearly. When he fought powerful enemies in the future, he would be able to fight even more freely. Correct. The first nine acupuncture points correspond to your sight. You can use the spiritual eye to keep watch on your surroundings. Furthermore, there are no limits. You'll be able to see through bewildering formations, even in an illusion formation. Even if your eyes are blinded, your spiritual eye won't be. You'll be able to see through what's false, said the old man proudly. The sixth form of Split the Heavens was where Split the Heavens showed its true worth. If it weren't for it, the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect might have been destroyed long ago. The Heaven Splitting Battle Sect didn't have any magical arts. If they encountered a spiritual attack or were lost in an illusion formation, they would be doomed. It was the sixth form of Split the Heavens that made up for that deficiency. The sixth form had reached an even higher realm. The thing that shocked the old man was how quickly Long Chen had opened his spiritual eye. Boss Bao and the others had spent three months training in the sixth form before sensing the location of their spiritual eye. However, back then, they had also been at the soul transformation realm, which made it exceptionally difficult to train in the sixth form. That was why their progress had been so slow. By the time they were capable of using their spiritual eye to examine their surroundings, it had been over a year since they had started training in the sixth form. As for Long Chen, he had not only instantly opened his spiritual eye, but he also managed to make use of it without any instruction. That shocked the old man. Now he really wanted to know how terrifying Long Chen's talent was. Continue to the next acupuncture point, 
said the old man. Long Chen continued. When he activated the 10th acupuncture point, he paused slightly. This acupuncture point relates to the sense of hearing. Correct. Continue. There's no need to stop. I want to see how many acupuncture points you can activate at once, said the old man. Activating the acupuncture points like this would require a great deal of soul energy. Once Long Chen reached his limit, the old man would be forced to help Long Chen. All of his 54 acupuncture points had to be fully activated this time. By activating them the first time, it would give the user experience and reduce the exhaustion for the next time. Then they would be able to unleash the sixth form, the 18th acupuncture point, the 27th acupuncture point, the 36th acupuncture point. Long Chen activated them all without finding it taxing at all. He found that the first nine acupuncture points corresponded to sight, while the next nine corresponded to hearing, then the next nine corresponded to smell. In that instant, he had felt an absolute clarity toward his surroundings. When he activated the 36th acupuncture point then a wave of sense assaulted him. His throat became itchy. He had an urge to puke. It was like he was tasting the air, the soil, the grass, and even the insects in the grass. The old man was once more shocked. He hadn't expected Long Chen's spiritual strength to be so powerful. Long Chen continued. On the 45th acupuncture point, he found that it corresponded to the sense of touch. He felt all his pores opening. It was like everything around him was touching him. The breathing of the fresh grass, the swirl of the wind, and even the movements of the insects in the soil were sensed. Good. Before training in the sixth form, one must first cultivate six kinds of senses. The first five senses are sight, hearing, smell, taste, and touch. As long as these five senses are awakened, then any illusion art will be useless against you. Try to see if you can open the final sense. Don't hesitate. I'm here if you need me, said the old man. Seeing Long Chen's unnatural expression after activating all these senses, the old man thought that Long Chen had almost reached his limit. He didn't know this was from being disgusted. However, after reaching the fifth sense, Long Chen didn't taste as much of what he didn't want to, and he continued. His spiritual strength was practically limitless and he activated 54 acupuncture points in one go. The instant he activated the 54th acupuncture point, the space around him shook. Long Chen felt like he had become the ruler of this space. Within this domain, everything was within his control. Just as he was delighted, the old man whacked his staff at Long Chen's waist. It was quick, sudden, and at such close range, there was simply no time to dodge. However, just as it was about to touch his waist, a hand moved as quick as lightning, catching it. Chapter 1588 The Sixth Sense Sixth Root Sixth Will Translator Born to be ha ha ha, as expected of the sprout I look favorably upon, laughed the old man. Long Chen looked at his own right hand with a strange expression. The old man's attack had truly been sudden. It hadn't contained any killing intent and had been launched at such close range. There was no way for anyone to react to that. According to reason, he shouldn't be able to do anything. A person's reaction speed was limited. Long Chen also hadn't reacted at all. He didn't even know what had happened before his right hand caught the old man's staff. This is a kind of instinct asked Long Chen. Yes, you can put it that way, but that's not entirely correct. An instinctual reaction would normally require sensing danger. However, I had no intent to kill you, so it wasn't instinct. This is a kind of mental state of the sixth form of split the heavens. As long as you are in this state, no illusion or technique will be able to bewilder you. Little brat, you really are a monster. You learned this ability right at the start, while those brats are still unable to control this power. HMPH, when I get back, I'll have to give them a proper beating. They aren't even a match for a child, said the old man. Through this experiment, the old man had confirmed that Long Chen was truly in control of this mental state. Long Chen had given him a nice surprise. In truth, the heaven-splitting battle sects battle god sacred canon focused more on power, not spiritual strength. However, Long Chen's spiritual strength was not inferior to his physical body. 
he had condensed 1 billion and 80 million primordial runes to form his Yuan spirit, that had caused his spiritual strength to also transform. Although even Long Chen wasn't completely aware of that, the fact that he could cultivate the sixth form of split the heavens so easily was undeniably related to his powerful Yuan spirit. Seeing Long Chen's lost and excited expression, the old man smiled. The sixth form is different from the fifth form. You'll no longer need to randomly hack at your opponents. Instead, it will gradually merge into your fighting technique. Now that the sixth form's acupuncture points have been activated, you've opened your six senses, sight, hearing, smell, taste, touch, and will. They correspond to the eyes, ears, nose, tongue, body, and will. The rest is easy to understand, but the will is inexplicable. This will can be described as the spiritual perception, the consciousness, the divine sense, etc. However, those are all both right and wrong. This kind of ability can only be experienced. It sounds complicated, but it's easy to put into practice. With your six senses merged, you will enter a special state. Now you don't need to fear assassination attempts or group battles. Even the blood kill hall, ever since ancient times, wouldn't dare to assassinate our heaven splitting battle sect's disciples. That's because the sixth form of split the heavens completely counters their assassination arts. Not only that, but even illusion arts will be useless. There are countless illusion arts. However, they all involve affecting the mind through the six senses. With the six senses merged with your body, illusion arts won't be able to find an opening to affect you. This is also the reason why the heaven-splitting battle sect could cultivate just the battle god sacred canon and split the heavens, and still dominate the land. Each of the latter forms of split the heavens is more terrifying than the last. Long Chen was shocked. Perhaps in the entire martial heaven continent, only the heaven-splitting battle sect would have nothing but one cultivation technique and one battle skill. However, they had still dominated this continent once. The Zhuangshan Dao sect had all-encompassing magical arts that could manifest the indescribable Dao. However, the heaven-splitting battle sect's one technique was enough to match it. This could be taken as a contrary path, to go from complicated to simple. Just the sixth form was already so powerful. Then what about the seventh, eighth, and ninth forms? Just how strong were they? Maintain this state and carefully experience all your senses. This is very important. The sixth form of split the heavens can be split into the aura and the attack. You can use them separately. Now you are in the state of the aura, which is also called the sixth sense, the sixth root, the sixth will. There are many ways to call it. Just this aura is enough to benefit you for a lifetime. It can be used on its own. And once you're more experienced, you can use it without this strange posture. However, the actual attack requires you to use this posture. Otherwise, you might lose your life, warned the old man. I understand. Long Chen nodded. Although he had yet to actually go through with the attack, he found that only this posture allowed him to create an unimpeded flow through his 54 acupuncture points. If this posture was slightly off, the path would be hindered or blocked. There were only two possibilities if that happened. One was, if his power was unable to go through fully, it would cause his attack to lose most of its power. However, the worst case was that he used too much power, and having it be blocked would cause his meridians to explode, along with the rest of him. It was no wonder the old man was so grave about this. All right, there's not much time yet. Remember this state and take this. The old man took out the heaven-splitting blade. The heaven-splitting blade was also called the heaven-splitting divine blade. There were countless legends about it, but those stories were so ancient that many things had been lost. While holding the heaven-splitting divine blade, Long Chen heard the old man say, Through your aura, activate the six senses. Draw in the energy of heaven and earth into the first acupuncture point. Remember not to draw too much energy to it. The energy has to go through 54 acupuncture points, and each time it goes through one, its power will double. If you use up too much energy at the start and don't have enough at the end, it will also cause it to lose effect. You'll just end up injuring yourself. However much energy you draw out of the world is how much energy you should use from your chi Merge the two energies together to form a new kind of power. 
Long Chen hadn't expected the sixth form of split the heavens to be so complicated. He had to increase his energy with each acupuncture point. That required very precise control. Don't be afraid. Estimate the energy in your chi si. Even if you fail, it's fine. The heaven splitting blade will protect you, said the old man. Long Chen, don't move. Fully open your power to me. I will help you guide it. All you need to do is remember the process. Suddenly, a spiritual message came from the heaven splitting blade. Its item spirit was actually speaking to him. All right. Thank you for your troubles, senior. Otherwise, I wouldn't have any assurance. Long Chen nodded. Divine ring. A five-colored divine ring appeared, shaking the sky. Within the red, orange, yellow, green, and azure divine ring was a five-point star. When it manifested, a powerful pressure shook the entire heaven-splitting battle sect. Heavens, big brother Long Chen's divine ring has appeared. The disciples that had just been chased away ran back, looking at the sky in excitement. Although they had seen images of Long Chen fighting heavenly geniuses, it wasn't as shocking as personally seeing them. They could now feel that will that looked down arrogantly upon the nine heavens. Feng Fu Star, Aleph Star, Life Fate Star, Enlightenment Palace Star, Divine Gate Star. The five points of the star in his divine ring lit up one by one. Each point had a star shining brightly now. The world shuddered uneasily in the face of this power. Fortunately, they're high up in the air. If they were standing on the ground, the heaven-splitting battle sect would be wrecked. This brat's really a monster. The seventh boss was gobsmacked. They had arrived at the end of the battle last time and hadn't seen Long Chen really fighting. Meanwhile, the old man's eyes were shining as he stared at Long Chen without blinking. Long Chen's current power even gave him a sense of pressure. Long Chen raised the heaven-splitting blade. This wasn't his own action but the guidance of the heaven-splitting blade. All Long Chen needed to do was unleash all his power, and the heaven-splitting blade would direct him, helping him activate all of his acupuncture points. There was no need for Long Chen to calculate anything. Long Chen had his eyes closed as he sensed the merger of the outer world's energy with his own. This was his first time feeling the energy of the heavenly Deos. However, this was different from Celestials. Celestials had heavenly Tao energy given to them, while Long Chen had to force the heavens to give him this energy. Under the pressure of the Divine Ring, the heavenly Tao energy had no way to resist as it was forcibly taken and merged into his acupuncture points. As Long Chen's spiritual Yuan merged with the heaven Tao energy, it was like they ignited. It was also like a volcano whose lid was removed. Rumbling sounds came from Long Chen's body. In the end, the sound was like divine thunder, shaking heaven and earth. Boss Bao and the others stared in shock. They were able to unleash the sixth form of split the heavens, but they had never caused such a phenomenon. The heaven splitting blade shone like a sun as all his acupuncture points were activated. However, just as everyone thought that Long Chen was about to slash it down, that light dimmed. The terrifying fluctuations also faded. Ah, why isn't he unleashing it? Exactly. Isn't holding it uncomfortable the disciples were all disappointed. They had wanted to see how powerful Long Chen's attack would be. However, this lightning storm had contained only thunder. Many thanks. Senior Long Chen's divine ring disappeared, and he returned the heaven-splitting blade to the old man. He was a bit out of breath and pale as he had used up the majority of his spiritual yuan. The reason he hadn't been able to unleash the attack in the end was because his five-star battle armor had reached its limit. Good. Having activated all your acupuncture points with your greatest power, its potential will be even greater in the future, said the heaven-splitting blade. You've learned the sixth form of split the heavens. I'll pass on the seventh form to you as well. Whether or not you can learn it. It's best if you just memorize it first, said the old man, pulling Long Chen back to the mountain peak. Chapter 1589 Truly not wanting to show off translator, born to be on the peak, the old man said, Little fellow, I've taught you the seventh form's mnemonic now. When you go back, you can slowly open your meridians, and by no means should you rush it. At your current level, there's no way you can control the seventh form of split the heavens. This move is something even I can barely use. Without the heaven-splitting divine tablet, 
Using it is truly dangerous. The old man's expression was grave as he warned Long Chen. This move could not be randomly used. Unfortunately, Long Chen couldn't stay in the heaven splitting battle sect forever. There was no way for the old man to guide him forever. That was why the old man had no choice but to transmit the seventh form of split the heavens ahead of time to Long Chen. The fierceness of the seventh form was something even Long Chen's monstrous physical body and spiritual Yuan could not possibly handle. The old man was afraid Long Chen would get arrogant and try to use it, which would result in a fatal opening for his enemies. Even you are only barely able to use it? But didn't you say that you would show me the power of the ninth form of split the heavens in the Grand Han? Could it be? Long Chen was surprised. The old man furiously clapped Long Chen in the back of the head. What? You think I was just bragging? I can use the ninth form. However, it would require using a secret art to ignite my Yuan spirit. After unleashing it, I would die. Long Chen rubbed the back of his head. He was very moved inside. Back then, the old man had actually been willing to sacrifice his life to unleash the ninth form of split the heavens in order to cut down Yu Ziyuan's clone. That had been for Long Chen's sake. The nine forms of split the heavens are too domineering. Even when cultivating the battle god sacred canon, it's still difficult to use them. That's why we need the assistance of the heaven splitting divine tablet to relieve the stress to the body. The battle god sacred canon, the nine forms of split the heavens, the heaven splitting divine tablet, and the heaven splitting blade are the four treasures of the heaven splitting battle sect. Not one can be missing. However, the current heaven splitting divine tablet is incomplete. You should be careful when using split the heavens as a result. Warned the old man. I understand. I won't rush it. Long Chen nodded. The old man had only transmitted the mnemonic for the seventh form to Long Chen. But he hadn't had Long Chen start training in it yet. He would instead let Long Chen study it slowly. Alright. Then you should leave. I want to see what's recorded inside this jade case. HMPH. I refuse to believe the nether passage realm is really so difficult to reach, said the old man competitively. However, he had agreed to use this jade case now thanks to Long Chen. I want to see it too. Don't be so stingy. Long Chen was very curious about what was contained in the jade case. Do you want to lose your life? This jade case contains life and death energy. Hu Jinying somehow managed to record some of her experiences in the netherworld by using a portion of her Yuan spirit. Once the jade case is activated, that powerful life and death energy will definitely kill your Yuan spirit instantly, said the old man. It's fine. My Yuan spirit is strong enough to handle it. Long Chen smiled. He was even more confident in his Yuan spirit than he was in his physical body Noveloon.com Then tell me how many primordial runes you had when you condensed your Yuan spirit. I'll see if it's enough. This isn't a joke. When that life and death energy erupted, I won't be able to save you. I haven't reached the nether passage realm yet, said the old man. An attack of life and death energy would annihilate the Yuan spirit. It was unblockable. If something happened to Long Chen. The old man would go crazy. Cough. I had quite a few. Can I ask how many primordial runes you had? Probed Long Chen. Although I am only a rank 8 celestial, I was assisted by the battle god sacred canon. I increased the number of primordial runes that I produced by 3 times. In the end, I managed to condense 87,000 of them, said the old man proudly. Long Chen was startled. He had always thought that the old man was a rank 9 celestial. Unexpectedly, he was only a rank 8 celestial. However, thinking about it, Long Chen knew there was no way to compare the old man's era with the present. In the current era, mostly in the most recent few years, the world had changed. Heavenly geniuses were crazily sprouting. Heavenly geniuses were as common as rice. As for in the old man's era, Advancing a single celestial level had been incredibly difficult. His tenacity and grit were not things that the current generation's heavenly geniuses could compare to. As a rank 8 celestial, he had touched upon the door to the nether passage realm. This kind of perseverance even won Long Chen's praise. It seemed cultivation talent wasn't necessarily the most important thing. For ordinary rank 9 celestials. The upper limit was 9,999 primordial runes. As for the old man, 
he had actually broken through his limit three times, resulting in him condensing 87,000. There was definitely something behind that. Little fellow, how many primordial runes did you have? If you don't have enough, then don't talk nonsense, said the old man. In truth, I condensed enough. I condensed just a little bit more than you, said Long Chen. How much is a little bit? Say it in more detail. Don't look at me with that evil smile. This could kill you, raged the old man. Ah, a bit more means a bit more. Long Chen scratched his head bashfully. There was really no way he could say it without embarrassing the old man. A hundred thousand. A bit more. Two hundred thousand. A bit more again. What? Three hundred thousand. Exclaimed the old man. A bit more again. Your version of a bit is too small. Said Long Chen. Don't tell me you condensed a million. Ah. How should I put this? Let's just stop guessing. In any case. It's a bit. 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 Bit more than that said Long Chen, even gesturing with his hands to show it was just a bit bigger. Five million. The old man heard Long Chen say the word bit five times, so he increased his count by five times. Long Chen didn't know whether or not he should tell the truth, but he couldn't lie in front of the old man. What are you being mute for? Hurry up and tell me, roared the old man. He now truly wished to learn how many primordial runes Long Chen had condensed. The more he had condensed, the stronger his Yuan spirit, and the stronger his Yuan spirit, the greater his potential. Seeing the old man on the verge of exploding, Long Chen helplessly extended ten fingers. Ten million. Your Yuan spirit really is terrifying exclaimed the old man. It's not ten million. It's one billion. Sighed Long Chen. The old man's staff whacked toward Long Chen. He roared. Fuck off. Do you think I'm an idiot? How could such a Yuan spirit exist in this world? Split the heavens five. Suddenly, a ray of light shot out of Long Chen's head. A powerful saber image struck the old man's staff. Caught off guard. His staff was knocked out of his hand. And his hand even began to bleed. The old man looked in shock at a three-inch figure of Long Chen standing in front of him. Long Chen's Yuan spirit had actually used its hand as a blade to activate the fifth form of split the heavens. Despite that, its power was astonishing. Little fellow, you were still hiding this trump card? You weren't even using your full power in the Grand Han, cried the old man. Long Chen's Yuan spirit could actually unleash battle skills. Then at the very least, his Yuan spirit possessed 80% of the combat power of his true body. At the end of the dragon slaughtering convention, he had looked to be at a miserable disadvantage, but he had actually been holding back. I really did use my full power. However, I need to keep a few life-saving trump cards. My luck is so bad. I'd probably be screwed if I ran out of trump cards, said Long Chen helplessly. In truth, Long Chen really had held back at that time. One of his trump cards was his Yuan spirit. Even though his own spiritual Yuan was exhausted, his Yuan spirit could be treated as his clone and another energy store. The other trump card he hadn't used was that when his spiritual Yuan ran out, he had one method to restore it instantly. That was Chu Yao. When Chu Yao activated the Wood Spirit Union, he could use her Yuan spirit. The thick reserves of spiritual Yuan possessed by a wood cultivator were perfect for that. However, having all his trump cards exposed at once was very dangerous. Unless he was forced to, he would prefer not to use them. This was a habit of his now. After all, this was related to everyone's life and death. So it's true? But even an Empyrean cannot possess that many primordial runes? A variant of heaven and earth? Or a sovereign sprout? The old man suddenly burst into wild laughter. Good. Then I won't worry about you. Although your Yuan spirit hasn't reached its peak state, such an abnormal power should have no problem handling the life and death energy. The heaven-splitting blade unleashed a wave of light that enveloped the two of them. They vanished, reappearing in a wasteland. No one will disturb us here. Prepare yourself. I'm going to activate the jade case, said the old man. The old man waved a hand. His spiritual strength burst forth, and the jade case exploded. As the world turned pitch black, Long Chen jumped in shock. Activate your sixth sense, shouted the old man. Long Chen hastily activated all his acupuncture points. When his sixth sense was activated, 
he saw a dusky world. The surroundings were the same, but the void was constantly shaking. There was also some image strangely superimposed on itself. Long Chen felt a burst of pain in his mind as if a needle was stabbing his mind. See, that was the erosion of the life and death energy. Although it was uncomfortable, he could handle it. A wave of light came from his head, forcing back this strange energy. This life and death energy was very strange. He couldn't feel it. He couldn't sense it. And even his sixth sense was unable to grasp it. However, its power was focused on targeting his Yuan spirit. Haha, <laughs> Wu Guangguan. Looks like in the end, you still ended up owing me a favor. Suddenly, a voice rang out that caused Long Chen and the old man's expressions to change. The old man's face turned as dark as the bottom of a pot. Chapter 1590 Blood Colored Lake Translator Born to be that voice was something Ku Jianying had left behind. Long Chen was absolutely speechless. Could it be that as one's cultivation base grew, it became more difficult for oxygen to reach their brain? Even at this time, she still had to be so competitive? This was no different than a slap to the old man's face. It was like an 80-year-old playing in the mud. At this time, the old man was quivering with rage. Old man, this time I'm definitely on your side. We won't let this enmity off lightly, cried Long Chen righteously. Exactly. Don't you think that woman is hateful? Raged the old man. Yes, you're absolutely right. If I had women like that, I'd be beaten all day. However, we've lost this time. Now that we've activated the Jade case, whether or not we use it, we owe her a debt. How absolutely sinister. Long Chen was now on the same side as the old man. She really pisses me off. Long Chen, you have lots of evil ideas. What do we do? Demanded the old man. What else can we do? Having taken such a loss, if we walked away with our heads lowered, wouldn't it be so shameful that all men would be laughed at? Said Long Chen helplessly. Fuck. I was grateful to her for nothing. She really needs a beating. Said the old man hatefully. Long Chen felt like he had worked so hard for nothing. This senior Ku had to really be bored to add something so childish to her good intentions. Old man. Let's put this aside for now. We can't waste this. We can't suffer this loss for nothing. We'll get our revenge for this later. Said Long Chen. Fine. I won't bother with her. TCH. She definitely thinks that this would make me too angry to use this. Well. I won't let things go as she wishes. Laughed the old man. Long Chen was startled. So it really was Senior Ku who understood the old man the best. He had actually misunderstood her intentions. When he thought about it closely, this move of Ku Jianying's was a bit superfluous. Since the old man had activated the Jade case, it meant the old man had already accepted this favor. Provoking him some more was extra. Ah, the realm of supreme experts truly wasn't something lower people could understand. Sit down. This is a memory formation condensed through life and death energy. Once activated, we'll see how she entered the netherworld. Don't be careless. No matter what you see, don't make a sound, warned the old man. All right, I understand. Long Chen nodded. The old man sat in a lotus-style position and pressed two fingers to his forehead. Long Chen felt some faint life and death energy flowing out of him. Although the old man hadn't reached the nether passage realm, he had comprehended the Tao of life and death. He was in possession of the slightest bit of life and death energy. As his life and death energy circulated, the surroundings changed. Long Chen suddenly closed his sixth sense, and he saw that the surroundings were pitch black. He knew that this darkness was Ku Jianying's memories. Long Chen had to experience it as she did, so he couldn't activate the sixth sense. As for any danger, he left that up to Evil Moon. It would warn him if there was any danger. Furthermore, the old man had the heaven-splitting blade. With two divine items protecting them, there wouldn't be any problems. The darkness seemed endless. It felt like he had been devoured by it and entered a world of eternity. Here, there was no time, no space. This is the world of death. Nether passage experts were able to control their life and death. This phrase sounded nonsensical. Who couldn't control their life and death? Couldn't they just kill themselves? However, this phrase meant something different. Nether passage experts had to experience true death. The physical body died. The Yuan spirit died. However, 
the nether passage experts would retain the slightest trace of life, using it to enter the gate to the netherworld. Then they would return from that gate, completing a cycle of life and death. After that, they would have truly reached the nether passage realm. The darkness Long Chen was seeing was the darkness Ku Jianying had experienced after dying. This darkness would evoke instinctual fear in people. There was no light. There was no sound. There was nothing. Everything was still in death. Suddenly, Long Chen saw a huge gate ahead of him. It was open just a crack. His body moved toward the gate involuntarily. Toward the crack. Long Chen knew that he was seeing things from Ku Jianying's point of view. Once he was through the gate. He saw a giant bridge ahead of him. What shocked Long Chen was that this bridge had many people randomly wandering around. As he walked forward, he saw a humanoid monstrosity in extremely ancient robes. This humanoid was carrying chains with huge hooks at the end. This figure was using its chains to kill the people on the bridge. Anyone struck by its chains would be turned to mist and vanish from sight. The humanoid monstrosity had strange runes in its eyes. However, it seemed to not see Ku Jianying. It was constantly tidying up the people on the bridge who were roaming around randomly. As it killed those people, mist rose into the air. The bridge was quickly tidied up. The slain people didn't react at all. They didn't dodge. They didn't run. They didn't seem to know what fear was. Their expressions were wooden as they were killed. As the monstrosity killed more of them, its chains grew brighter. After a while, the monstrosity walked to a stone pillar at the side of the bridge. At the top of the pillar was a head-sized stone. The stone flowed with light. It was like a pearl. Through Ku Jianying's sight, Long Chen could sense terrifying spiritual fluctuations coming from the stone. A definite treasure. Those people's souls were all gathered into this orb. The spiritual strength inside it has reached the pinnacle of purity. Just what is going on? Those people didn't look like cultivators. They seemed like ordinary people who came here in a spiritual state, but they didn't have any spiritual fluctuations. And that strange monstrosity, he seems like a jailer. Those chains are extremely powerful against souls, thought Long Chen. Everything he was seeing, hearing, and feeling was the same as what Ku Jianying had experienced when she had entered the netherworld. His line of sight could not be moved. Long Chen guessed that Ku Jianying was currently hidden in a corner. Just at this moment, a huge gate appeared in the air, and a figure walked out from a crack. Long Chen was startled. It was someone from a race he had never seen before. He was three meters tall with a body covered in scales. He had a single horn on his head and a fish-like tail on his back. A member of the ancient races? No. His aura was completely different. A Xuan beast? Also wrong. This person had a dark aura that was different from any of the life forms on the Martial Heaven continent. Long Chen suddenly understood something. A nether passage expert who entered the netherworld had their own gate. This person's gate had appeared not far from Ku Jianying's gate. That person's gaze swept around, even going past Ku Jianying. However, he didn't see her. Ku Jianying must be hidden very well. Long Chen praised Ku Jianying inside. This attention to detail was definitely far superior to the old man. If it had been him, he would definitely not have thought of hiding and observing things first. This tailed person walked forward. He quickly reached the center of the bridge and saw the monstrosity killing the souls. The tailed person snorted and sent a punch at the monstrosity. His punch was incredibly powerful, but he was sent flying by a punch from the monstrosity. Long Chen was startled. It's possible to activate magical arts and battle skills here? Then the spiritual body that enters this place is actually also a physical body. What a strange place. Just at this moment, a blood-colored rune appeared in that monstrosity's eyes. The chain in its hand shot toward the tailed man. The tailed man sneered and began muttering something Long Chen couldn't understand. He once more sent out a punch. However, this time... The tailed man's arm exploded and blood mist flew out. He was actually a solid body. The tailed man let out a miserable cry. Only at this moment did Long Chen see countless barbs on the chains that were pulling out that tailed man's flesh. Those barbs were like teeth. The tailed man turned to flee back to the gate he had come out of. Unfortunately, he had just gotten there when the monstrosity's chain explosively grew. It smashed through the tailed man's body, causing him to scream. His body then rapidly withered until he was nothing more than dust. 
the monstrosity returned to its original appearance, but now it went to another orb. Its chain had a dozen drops of essence blood that dripped onto the orb. Damn. So it's gathering essence blood. Long Chen was startled. This thing was gathering souls and essence blood at the same time. Just what was it doing? At this moment, Hu Jinying walked out of the place she was hiding and crept forward, carefully going past the monstrosity. It completely ignored her, and she continued onward. The bridge was very long, and she encountered over ten of them that she carefully went around. After an unknown amount of time, a blood-colored pool appeared ahead. Dense mist swirled out of it and into the sky. Chapter 1591 Yellow Springs Path Gates of Hell Translator Born to be the blood-colored pool stretched as far as he could see. When Long Chen approached it, he was shocked to find that this lake wasn't filled with water but was truly formed of blood. Furthermore, it was the terrifying essence blood. The powerful fluctuations coming from the lake gave Long Chen chills. This kind of power was something he had only sensed from the Aldeville monster's essence blood. Dense mist swirled out of the lake so that he couldn't see far. However, he saw floating logs on the lake that formed a strange bridge. This bridge was not steady. There were many random logs in constant motion, and it seemed he was supposed to jump across them to reach the other side. That was very dangerous. Eventually, Hu Jinying stepped forward to try it on her own. Even after a long time, she didn't see anyone else come to try it. Hu Jinying jumped onto one of the logs, and it rocked in the water. There was danger of falling in at any moment. Long Chen guessed that there was no way to fly in this region, or Hu Jinying would have just flown right there. As he looked deeper into the mist, the water suddenly surged. A strange life form jumped out of the water and at Hu Jinying. It was a humanoid with a fish tail and eight horns on its head. It opened a huge mouth full of sinister teeth as it tried to bite Hu Jinying. Hu Jinying slashed with a sword. However, it wasn't a true sword but one condensed of her Yuan spirit energy. She killed the creature in one attack. As soon as she killed it, the surface of the lake exploded. Countless other blood-colored creatures charged at her. Hu Jinying quickly retreated to the shore where the creatures were unable to cross. After a few furious roars, they unwillingly retreated. Damn, what are these? How could they be so terrifying? Furthermore, that resentment coming from them, they don't seem like a real species. They're quite similar to the resentful spirits in stories. Hu Jinying didn't dare to touch this lake water. It was too strange. As for those monsters, although they weren't very powerful, at the end, they had come at her in such terrifying numbers that it was all too possible to end up falling into the water. Hu Jinying didn't dare to try it again. She found a place to hide herself by the shore. After an unknown amount of time, someone finally appeared. It was a humanoid, but his body was small. He was like a dwarf and was only three feet tall. He looked at the lake for a long time. It was unknown whether or not Hu Jinying had used some secret art to conceal herself, but he didn't notice her. After examining the blood lake carefully, he slowly touched the surface of it and immediately let out a shrill scream. The finger he had used to touch the lake had turned to mist, and that mist continued to burn away the rest of his body. His hand instantly vanished. The speed at which it spread was shocking. The dwarf immediately cut off his arm at the shoulder. By that time, his arm up to his elbow had vanished. Less than half a breath's time after his arm landed on the ground, it vanished into mist. The elder's face was pale. All he had done was touch the lake, but if he hadn't been decisive enough, he would have died. He stopped by the shore for a long time. His arm slowly recovered. Only then did he slowly jump onto one of the floating logs and continue onward. At first, things went very smoothly, and he advanced several miles. Just as he was about to vanish into the mist, one of the fish monsters inside the lake attacked him. Just like Pujinying, the dwarf easily killed it. Based on its attack speed, power, and spatial fluctuations, Long Chen estimated it to be around the power of a soul transformation expert. To an expert on Pu Jinying's level, such a creature could be slain with the wave of a hand. However, right after the dwarf killed it, countless more of them suddenly sprang out of the lake, attacking him. Although the dwarf killed as many as he could, there were too many, and they filled the air. However, Long Chen noticed one secret. 
These monsters never touched the floating logs no matter what attack they used. The dwarf was fighting with all his power and wanted to retreat. However, he had gone too deep, and his path was blocked. Just at this moment, a tentacle wrapped around his ankle. He was instantly pulled underwater. A miserable cry rang out for just an instant before it disappeared. The lake returned to calm. Long Chen could feel himself sweating. Fortunately, Hu Jinying had been lucky. She had been attacked just after jumping onto the logs and had time to retreat. If she had been in the dwarf's position, she would probably have died. This lake was too terrifying. Even someone as strong as Hu Jinying was minuscule in front of it. No wonder it was said that advancing to the Nether Passage realm was an incomparably dangerous venture. This place was filled with danger. The image he saw stayed still for a long time. Long Chen guessed that Hu Jinying was waiting for someone else to test this place. However, in the end, no one else came, and Hu Jinying moved. She once more jumped onto a floating log and continued advancing. Although he knew that Hu Jinying had managed to pass and advance to the Nether Passage realm, watching what she had gone through still gave Long Chen chills. Eventually, Hu Jinying was so deep into the mist that when she looked back, she couldn't see the shore. Everything around her was mist. Long Chen couldn't help sighing inside. The path of experts was always so difficult. There were no shortcuts, and they had to face death. Even someone as strong as Hu Jinying seemed so weak in the face of the ephemeral existence known as fate. However, she still chose to advance. Eventually, one of those monsters appeared and attacked her. This time, she didn't strike back. Instead, a runic barrier appeared around her. She stayed motionless as the monster tore at her barrier. It was unknown what kind of special ability it had, but her barrier began to crack. However, Hu Jinying was not taken by surprise. She slowly passed more energy into her barrier. As long as it was just one, these monsters were unable to harm her. The monster bit and tore at her barrier for a long time without drawing more monsters. Long Chen suddenly realized that as long as these monsters weren't attacked, it was possible to pass safely. As expected, after blocking the first one, she didn't draw more. As she advanced, Ripples began to appear on the calm lake. As the surface of the lake rose, Long Chen saw some splashing. Eventually, he saw the mouth of a spring from which the blood water was flowing out. There was a stone tablet there with three crooked words. They didn't seem like immortal characters. In any case, Long Chen didn't recognize them. Yellow Springs Path. What? Doesn't the Yellow Springs Path only exist in folklore? Plus, shouldn't it be yellow? Asked Long Chen. I don't know either. I just recognize those three characters. That damn Yun Shang. Return my memories rage devil moon. It was more and more sure that Yun Shang had taken away a portion of its memories. All right. Perhaps the yellow springs weren't yellow. Among the common folk, there was a saying to stop digging if you struck yellow water when digging a well. Because that well would lead to the land of the dead. But wasn't that just nonsense? The soil people lived on was yellow. It was only natural that when the first water came out, it would be yellow. If that saying was true, wouldn't there be no wells? That was why this saying was not trustworthy at all and was mostly only told during stories. However, now that Evil Moon had said what those characters were, Long Chen's heart thumped. For some reason, he felt a chill. Hu Jinying continued to advance. There was no way to sense the flow of time here. But eventually she reached a giant whirlpool. Now Long Chen saw an even more shocking scene. There were nine lakes. All different colors. Red. Orange. Yellow. Green. Azure. Blue. Violet. White. And black lake water was gathering here. Forming a gigantic whirlpool. This is the legendary Nine Springs? Below the Nine Springs is the land of the dead. Long Chen's hair stood on end. Were the stories told by the common people actually true? If they were, what of the ox head and horse face guardians of the underworld? What of the black and white deities of the dead? What of the Azuras of Purgatory? Long Chen felt like he couldn't accept this. Having cultivated to this point, he now saw things on his cultivation path that were only spoken of in stories by the weakest commoners of the land. Hu Jinying paused where the nine springs gathered. The water was flowing, but the wooden logs didn't move. The strange monsters of the lake had also vanished. 
Long Chen carefully examined the nine springs. He felt like he was close to grasping some kind of mysterious element to them, but then that feeling vanished. These nine springs are definitely hiding some kind of secret. Long Chen was sure about this. This was a kind of intuition that he felt very clearly. Regretfully, all he was seeing was some memories. Many things could not be transmitted through just the five senses. He was also only able to experience it as Kujianying had experienced it. Kujianying continued forward. A straight set of stairs appeared descending into the center of the whirlpool. When Kujianying reached the bottom, Long Chen saw that the waterfall of lake water was actually flowing in reverse here, forming a strange cycle. Continuing on the path, he suddenly saw a giant gate. This gate also had three characters on it. Gates of Hell. Evil Moon recognized them again. What it said caused Long Chen's heart to pound. Chapter 1592 Bring Me In Translator Born to be there was a huge castle ahead, with giant gates opened outward. The gates had huge rivets that were many miles long. Standing in front of this giant gate, humans seemed as minuscule as ants. What was beyond the gates was shrouded in primal chaos. It was impossible to see anything inside. The gates of hell did not have the guards of legend like the ox head and horse face. There was nothing around except primal chaos. Just as Kujin Ying was not far from it, she saw two figures enter it, vanishing within without a trace. Due to the great distance, Long Chen hadn't managed to see whether those two were human or some other species. Suddenly, a figure appeared not far from Kujin Ying. It was a giant colorful tiger. When it passed by Kujin Ying, it glanced at her and then ignored her, going straight into the gate. Even its huge, mountain-like body was minuscule in front of the giant gates. Kujianying hesitated for a moment before also entering. Just at that moment, the vision faded. The dark aura vanished, and the sun appeared in the sky again. Long Chen and the old man both took a deep breath. Only now did Long Chen realize he was covered in sweat. The atmosphere of the netherworld was too nerve-wracking. It really is a damnable place. The old man wiped some sweat off his forehead. Old man, why did the vision end? Did you run out of energy? Asked Long Chen. This memory was not complete. It's not that I ran out of energy but that this memory was only this long. You might not know this, but it's very difficult to remember anything about passing through the netherworld. Practically, everyone has their memories of that time stripped away by some mysterious energy. Jin Ying's spiritual strength is exceptional, and I don't know what technique she used to preserve some of her memories, but doing just that is already extremely heaven-defying. As for what's behind that gate, even she is powerless to remember anything about it. However, this is already very helpful to me. Without it, I would probably fail to get past that bridge. The old man felt some lingering fear. Jin Ying's caution had just saved his life. With the heaven-splitting battle sects men's characters, that bridge was too dangerous. At the very least, these memories had guaranteed a safety for the first part. When are you planning on attacking the Nether Passage Realm? Asked Long Chen. I was interrupted this time, and seeing these memories has almost been an impact. Since I used up some of my life and death energy, I would need a month to recover to my peak state. I'll only attempt it at that time. Activating the memories Kujian Ian had left behind had taken quite a bit of energy. The old man would need to fully recover before attempting his breakthrough. Then, can I discuss something with you? Probed Long Chen. What well? I just want to ask. Can you bring my Yuan spirit with you when you make your breakthrough? Are you insane? The old man immediately jumped up. This brat really was crazy. Could someone come back alive from the netherworld? Don't panic just yet. I was thinking that I could have my Yuan spirit enter your mind see. When you attack the Nether Passage realm, I'll come along too. That way, I'll be able to stroll around the Netherworld, said Long Chen. Absolutely not. You saw how dangerous the Netherworld is. Your Yuan spirit might be powerful, but you're just at the soul transformation realm. What if some law exterminates you? The old man shook his head vehemently. This brat's guts were too big. When attacking the Nether Passage realm, the body would die. However, there would be a small seed of life left behind. Without this seed, it would be impossible to return from the Netherworld. 
Only a nether passage expert who had succeeded would be able to return and activate the seed of life, completing a full nirvanic rebirth. However, if you died in the netherworld, that seed of life would vanish. That was true death. Long Chen's method might sound plausible in theory, but it was definitely impossible in reality. Who knew what would happen? Old man, just listen to me. My cultivation technique is a bit special and is very sensitive to danger. In all these years, the reason I could brush so close to death constantly is thanks to my cultivation technique. There's something I need in the netherworld, and I couldn't sense any danger. In other words, other than whatever is beyond that gate, I should be absolutely safe. Do you not understand my character? I'm more afraid of death than anyone. I have so many hot-blooded brothers and beautiful women to return to. I can't just throw my life away, said Long Chen solemnly. Now that Long Chen put it this way, the old man reconsidered. Although Long Chen was young, he was meticulous. He rarely made a mistake in his plans. Since Long Chen was so set on doing this, on taking such a giant risk, he had to have his own reasons. After hesitating, the old man finally clenched his teeth. Fine, if you want to go crazy, I'll accompany you. However, you have to promise me that you'll return alive. The heaven-splitting battle sect needs you too. Long Chen understood. If the old man failed his breakthrough, then the heaven-splitting battle sect would lose the pillar holding it up. Boss Bao and the others might be strong, but they hadn't fully matured yet. If Long Chen also died inside, the heaven-splitting battle sect would be doomed. Don't worry. No one can take this life of mine, not even the heavens. Long Chen patted his chest confidently. He was delighted inside. The two of them returned to the heaven-splitting battle sect. They decided that Long Chen should return in one month. At the same time, the old man told him that the heaven-splitting battle sect's divine spring had been revived. Bao Buping and Chang Hao had already entered, and it wouldn't be long before they could advance to become Empyreans. Based on the density of their divine spring, other than Bao Buping and Chang Hao, there was enough to give rise to two more Empyreans, and the old man asked Long Chen if he wanted two of his people to go through it. During normal times, the divine spring was nothing more than decoration, or perhaps a kind of symbol. However, the world had changed. Karmic luck was subtly shifting. Divine springs could now be activated to produce stronger experts. However, Long Chen didn't accept. Li Xiangxuan had also asked Long Chen about this, saying that the Zhuanchen Dao sect's divine spring had gathered so much karmic luck that it could allow ten disciples to undergo its baptism. Long Chen had directly said that the Dragonblood Legion wouldn't take a single one of those spots, and Li Xiangxuan could use them as he pleased. Li Xiangxuan had simply nodded. Both of them could understand what the other was thinking with just a look. Long Chen had found that Li Xiangxuan understood him very well. There was no need for him to say too much. Long Chen didn't want to rely on the Zhuanchen Dao sect he understood as bad luck far too well. If he leaned on a mountain, it would collapse. If he relied on a sea, the sea would dry up. If he was too dependent on the Zhuanchen Dao sect, he would bring a calamity to the sect that was why he did his best to rely on his own power to advance. Previously. Long Chen hadn't put much confidence in the existence known as karma. However, after dealing with his bad luck for years, he ended up believing more and more that he was an unlucky star. That was why no matter what he did, he had to be careful not to implicate anyone. Perhaps others wouldn't understand such a thing, but Long Chen found that Li Xiangxuan seemed to be able to read his mind, and both understood and supported his decisions. And it made Long Chen feel very grateful. Having refused the Zhuanchen Dao sect's spots, he naturally wouldn't take the heaven-splitting battle sects. Since the old man needed to rest, Long Chen didn't overstay his welcome. Bao Buping and Chang Hao were in the midst of the baptism of the divine pool so he didn't disturb them either. After saying goodbye to the bosses, he went to the eastern Xuan city and found Zheng Wenlong. As soon as he arrived at the Huaian auction house, Zheng Wenlong came over with two spatial rings. One of these is your portion of the current profits from the sale of those medicinal pills. There's a total of 80 million spirit crystals. The other one contains 200 million which is a loan I got from the higher-ups. My pocket's a bit tight lately, 
and most of my wealth is tied up in assets that can't be turned into money in a short time. After two months, I should have some more money to support you, said Jung Wenlong. Many thanks. Having a god of wealth as a friend really is nice. Long Chen smiled and accepted the two spatial rings. He was extremely grateful. Having Jung Wenlong as a friend was truly a blessing. He had helped Long Chen out greatly. The medicinal pills you gave me last time should be enough for you to reconstruct the Zhuangshan Dao sect. But you have to know that changing objects into money takes time. I've just taken on the Eastern Xuan region's business, and most of my wealth is still in assets. Turning that into money is a bit difficult. But don't worry, you can continue with your construction as I continue to make more money. According to the plan you sent me, this shouldn't stall your construction, said Zhang Wenlong. All right, then I'll thank you for your trouble, brother Wenlong. Long Chen cupped his fists in thanks. After chatting a bit more with Zhang Wenlong, Long Chen learned that he really didn't have it easy. Most of his wealth was tied up right now, and the amount he had given him was the maximum amount possible. Long Chen didn't say too many courteous words. He knew that giving him this much money so quickly would reduce Zhang Wenlong's potential future profit. He recorded his favor in his heart. As long as he didn't die, he would return this favor with interest. After saying goodbye to Zhang Wenlong, Long Chen returned to the Zhuangshan Dao sect as soon as he arrived. He saw a very bustling scene. Chapter 1593 Burning Money Translator Born to be there were countless craftsmen and workers building things quickly. Huge wooden frameworks had already been built. Looking at the busy disciples, Long Chen smiled faintly. In order to save money, the Xuan master actually had the disciples do some of the work that didn't require specialization. However, those disciples were mostly outer sect disciples with low cultivation basis. For them, doing this work would come with a high reward. So they were naturally delighted to be doing it. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen. As soon as Long Chen returned, two disciples appeared, bowing deeply to him. They were disciples who had just joined and were rank 8 soul transformation celestials. Just from that sight, it was possible to see that the Zhuangshan Dao sect had truly grown. It's been hard on you. Long Chen patted them on the shoulder with a smile. The two of them were indescribably moved to be able to speak and interact with Long Chen. The main reason they had joined the Zhuangshan Dao sect was because Long Chen was here. They felt that cultivating in the same sect as Long Chen was a supreme honor. Actually personally interacting with him gave them a sense of grandeur. Long Chen walked along the construction. He saw various elders holding pieces of paper and calling out things that needed to be done or fixed. These elders all greeted Long Chen respectfully. Before, reaching the soul transformation realm would make one an elder. Now, tens of thousands of soul transformation disciples had joined, each one of them far stronger than them. Hence, they couldn't help but sigh. The world truly changed quickly. They still had their status and duties as elders. However, with their power, they were completely unqualified to teach these new disciples. In fact, some disciples gave them pointers. Fortunately, these heavenly geniuses were all very humble and didn't intentionally cause trouble. Otherwise, these elders would feel even worse. Geniuses were the most difficult people to look after. The reason they were so obedient in the Zhuangshan Dao sect was because of two people. The old Xuan master who was at the Nether Passage realm, and Long Chen who had dominated heavenly geniuses in his realm. It was only thanks to their presence that the Zhuangshan Dao sect was so peaceful. Although there were some conflicts between disciples, they rarely grew into huge fights. Mediating them was rather easy. Seeing Long Chen return, quite a few disciples began to surround him, greeting him. Long Chen had told the Dragonblood Legion to be friendly to these new disciples, but if they encountered anyone irritating, there was no need to be courteous. For such people, they just had to beat them until they submitted. Some of these new disciples had felt themselves to be very amazing, that they were second only to Long Chen. However, they learned their lesson quickly after a few beatings. The Dragonblood Warriors had said that they wouldn't bully them. As long as they were in the same realm, then they could challenge the Dragonblood Warriors 10 to 1, and the latter would accept. The Dragonblood Warriors accepted all challenges. 
the Zhuangshan Dao sect had already constructed ten large martial stages for disciples to exchange pointers. The martial stages had been packed for the first while. That was because before Long Chen had left for the heaven splitting battle sect, he had announced that any disciple that could defeat a dragon blood warrior with the same cultivation base and celestial rank could join the dragon blood legion. However, ever since those martial stages were constructed, despite challenges coming in a never ending stream, not one person managed to defeat a dragon blood warrior in a one against one, let alone one against one, even ten against one. The dragon blood warriors were undefeated. These heavenly geniuses had no choice but to submit. The dragon blood warriors were too powerful. Their fierce auras made them shiver and prevented them from unleashing their full power. Now they understood what true experts were. The dragon blood warriors might normally be easy to get along with, but when they fought, they turned into beasts. These disciples all felt the dragon blood warriors to be true men, true heroes. The dragon blood warriors would even teach them many fighting techniques without holding anything back. Long Chen had a smile as he looked at the exceptionally lively martial stages, as well as the experts who were red in the face and crazily cheering. The current Zhuangshan Dao sect was finally as lively as a true super sect should be. Long Chen, come over here. Xuan Master, you were looking for me. Long Chen hastily climbed up a mountain. This mountain had just been formed and the earth was still very fresh. There wasn't even any vegetation yet. At the top was a simple pavilion. Li Xiangxuan was inside. He was looking at blueprints that were laid out on top of a stone table. Long Chen, this plan of yours is too big. We've encountered many difficulties already, said Li Xiangxuan. He was frowning. This blueprint was something Long Chen had drawn. He had made some changes to the formation diagram that Xia Chen had sent over. Long Chen wanted to reconstruct the Zhuangshan Dao sect as one entity with the formation tying it all together. He had based this idea on the Mo Mountain Seal. He, I know the difficulties are all based on spending money, laughed Long Chen. It's not spending money, it's spending so much money that it's ridiculous. Even ten times the estimate of the original amount isn't enough. Li Xiangxuan bitterly smiled. Originally. The formation and the reconstruction of the Zhuangshan Dao sect would take around a hundred years. With the compensation Pill Valley had paid and their own wealth, they had enough to construct 80% of it. Due to having a hundred years as a buffer, they could slowly think of something for the remaining 20%. However, Long Chen wanted it built in one to two years. The cost had increased by ten times. Then Long Chen had even said he wanted them to construct it as one solid entity and to even add an unimaginable supreme transportation formation that could transport the entire Zhuangshan Dao sect. Even Li Xiangxuan felt like he was going crazy. As a sect leader, he had experienced much. However, Long Chen's plans made him feel like his head would explode. This wasn't spending money, this was burning money. It's fine, I will handle the matter of money. I just had a talk with Zheng Wenlong and got some more money. Based on our current speed, it should be enough to last two to three months. Long Chen handed Li Xiangxuan a spatial ring. Li Xiangxuan looked inside and jumped in shock. How is it possible that he could lend you so much money? I know how tight his pocket is lately. Li Xiangxuan was different from Long Chen. He had a certain understanding of the entire continent's movements. Zheng Wenlong had taken over the Eastern Xuan region's business. He was very bold with his business and even started some new branches of neglected or unorthodox businesses. Li Xiangxuan knew that this investment would take years or even decades to make a return. If he wanted those businesses to turn a profit, it would take even longer. He should currently be suffering a loss. In other words, Zheng Wenlong shouldn't have that many liquid assets. So Li Xiangxuan was shocked Long Chen could take out so many spirit crystals. Zheng Wenlong's very loyal, but I also won't let him lose out. Just treat it as me owing him a favor, and I'll pay him back in the future. Don't worry about money. The reconstruction of the Zhuangshan Dao sect is very important, especially the supreme transportation formation. You have to personally guard it. I don't want a similar tragedy to befall us again, said Long Chen. All right. Since you're sure, I'll listen to you. Don't worry, this formation blueprint you've given me is something only I and my master have seen. Furthermore, 
I've split up the work in batches so people won't be able to tell what exactly they're constructing. I'll handle the final portion of it myself so the outside world won't learn of this secret, said Li Xiangxuan. Long Chen was completely at ease with Li Xiangxuan at the helm of this problem. Li Xiangxuan was extremely meticulous. The only ones I'm worried about are those bastards from Heavenly Fate Island. I encountered one of them in the eastern wastelands. Long Chen told Li Xiangxuan about the disciple of the Heavenly Fate Island who had brought his enemies to his parents. In the end, some old fellow had almost killed him through space. However, the Divine Gate Star had activated in the end, forcing back that person's power. Long Chen didn't know the Divine Gate Star's attack had ruined that elder's technique that he had bitterly trained in. A mysterious elder, Li Xiangxuan's expression became a bit grave. He was silent for a moment. Heavenly Fate Island is very difficult to deal with. It seems they're hiding countless old monsters. Since you couldn't tell this elder's cultivation base, there's no way to know who it was. Heavenly Fate Island has countless secret arts, and one of them allows them to kill enemies through space as long as they have an intermediary. It's a very strange and powerful technique. However, the Zhuanshan Dao sect now has a nether passage expert sitting over it, as well as divine items protecting it. No matter how high his cultivation base, he wouldn't dare to read our fate. After all, the Zhuanshan Dao sect has risen. If he dared to do so, he would have to bear a huge amount of karma. None of them would dare to do such a thing. I'm afraid they'll try to read my fate and my next moves to scheme against the Zhuanshan Dao sect, said Long Chen worriedly. Read your fate. Li Xiangxuan laughed. Don't worry, there is no one in this world who would dare to read your fate unless they wanted to kill themselves. What kind of joke was that? The fate of a heaven defier was something even the heavens couldn't calculate. Long Chen was startled. He wanted to ask Li Xiangxuan more about this, but then he saw Li Xiangxuan looking into the distance. His heart shook, and he didn't ask his question. Long Chen was more and more sure Li Xiangxuan knew something about him. However, due to some rules, he was unable to say it clearly to him. He could only vaguely hint at it. Since Li Xiangxuan guaranteed that Heavenly Fate Island couldn't calculate anything about Long Chen directly, Long Chen was much more at ease. This meant that he wouldn't need to have so many misjivings in the future. He could properly get to know Heavenly Fate Island's disciples. With everything here handled by Li Xiangxuan, Long Chen could follow through with his own matters at ease. Long Chen asked for a private room within the Zhuanshan Tower. There. He spent three days writing various formulas and drawing bizarre diagrams. No one would be able to understand that these were symbols marking the merger of various medicinal ingredients. Long Chen needed to research this. After three days, Long Chen had come up with four possible formulas for the Empyrean pills. Of course, the main ingredient of the Empyrean pill was an Empyrean heavenly Tao fruit. He, this should work. If it does. The Dragonblood Legion is really going to soar and dominate the Martial Heaven Continent. Chapter 1594 Appropriate Preparations Translator Born to be a burnt smell came from the Blazing Dragon Cauldron. He had failed his refinement of the Empyrean Pill yet again. This was already his third try. According to his calculations, they should all have succeeded. However, for some reason, the moment they merged, the medicinal powders instantly ignited and turned to ash. After failing three times, even Long Chen was starting to lose confidence. Taking a deep breath, he calmed himself down. The worst thing was to be vexed while refining pills. After two hours, he began his fourth refinement. This time, he was delighted to see the medicinal powders finally merge together with the heavenly Tao fruit. There was no unexpected expulsion. Not daring to tarry. He controlled his flame carefully to merge them. After an hour, the blazing dragon cauldron quivered ever so slightly. The lid popped open, and a translucent pill appeared. Perhaps it shouldn't be called a pill. There was no fragrance, no pill lines, no fluctuations of a medicinal pill whatsoever. It looked completely ordinary. It was like a pearl of unclear water. It was exceptionally unremarkable. Long Chen stared at it for a long time. Had he succeeded or not? However, in the end, he gave it to Guo Ran. After eating it, the two of them waited patiently to see any changes. 
Just as Long Chen's heart was sinking, Guo Ran let out a startled cry as his aura began to transform. An aura of primal chaos appeared. Although it wasn't very dense, it was definitely the aura of primal chaos. Boss, I really have become an Empyrean cried Guo Ran, filled with excitement. Guo Ran could feel some kind of new energy awakening within him. His sense of the heavenly deus was also growing clearer. It felt like he was the ruler of this space, as if all the surrounding heavenly Tao energy belonged to him. Sensing the aura of primal chaos growing stronger within Guo Ran, Long Chen finally sighed with relief. After losing four Empyrean heavenly Tao fruits, he had finally succeeded. Long Chen couldn't help but smile bitterly. His luck was really garbage. Why had this formula been the last one? If it had been the first, he would have saved three Empyrean heavenly Tao fruits. That would have represented three new Empyreans. However, he was used to his bad luck. So he brushed it off. It was fine since he had succeeded in the end. Long Chen continued refining. With this experience, he completed the refinement of the eleven remaining heavenly Tao fruits. He distributed them to Gu Yang, Li Qi, and Song Mingyuan. Yu Zifeng was devoted to the sword Tao and didn't use heavenly Tao energy to assist him. According to Yu Zifeng's deduction, the sword Tao should be above the heavenly Daos. Cultivating the sword Tao was to go against the heavens. Therefore, he shouldn't completely comply with the will of the heavens. Long Chen naturally didn't force Yu Zifeng to consume it. Now there were eight more Empyrean pills. Two of them were for Meng Qi and Tang Wanur, but Long Chen struggled over the remaining six. Originally, he was saving one for Yu Ziaokian. He didn't know how she was, or whether or not she needed one. According to the seventh elder, Yu Ziaokian was currently secluded in the original devil race's inheritance land. If she came out, she would definitely come to find him immediately. As for Yi's Hikyu, Long Chen hadn't gotten any news of her. All he knew was that she was in the northern Xuan region. However, considering she possessed an innate eye spiritual body that led to a powerful expert coming to find her and have her join her sect, she was definitely important to them. Considering the change in heaven and earth, any sect with any foundation would condense all their karmic luck onto their most talented disciples so that they could become Empyreans. Yi's Hikyu most likely didn't need his Empyrean pill. After thinking over it, he kept the two Empyrean pills for Meng Qi and Tang Wanur and gave the remaining six to Gu Yang Noveloon.com. He told Gu Yang, Li Qi, Song Mingyuan, and Yu Zifeng to pick out an assistant amongst their own groups. The four of them were captains. At first, the Dragonblood Legion had only had 360 members, but now there were over 12,000. For the four of them to lead so many people was clearly a bit taxing. Promoting four vice captains could lessen the burden on them. As for the other two, Long Chen told Gu Yang to pick out the two strongest wood cultivators. They were the strongest shield of the Dragonblood Legion's lives, with two powerful Empyreans amongst them. Their healing capabilities would rise and their enemies would have even less chance of targeting them. It could be said that they were the secret heroes of the Battle of the Grand Han. Without them, then no matter how hard the Dragonblood warriors had fought, it would have been unavoidable to have some casualties. So Long Chen cared deeply about the healer's abilities. When those two women received the Empyrean pills that could change their future, they were full of gratitude toward Long Chen. Long Chen had changed their lives. Originally, their talent wasn't particularly exceptional, but now they had ascended with Long Chen into the sky. They had never dreamed that they would become legendary existences. Gu Yang, Li Qi, Song Mingyuan, and Yu Zifeng all picked out their assistants and gave them the Empyrean pills. It wouldn't be long before twelve terrifying Empyreans would appear in the Dragonblood Legion. Furthermore, after the Battle of the Grand Han, all the Dragonblood warriors could become rank 9 Celestials whenever they wanted. This terrifying Legion was definitely the one with the greatest potential in the entire continent. Long Chen told everyone to keep quiet about their advancement. It would be best if the outside world did not learn of it yet. Even the new disciples who had just joined were to be kept in the dark about it. Who knew if any spies had mixed into the crowd? In any case, they only needed a small portion to face constant challenges. Furthermore, the Zhuanshan Dao sect's original disciples were starting to soar as well. Hua Xiaoyu, Zhao Ziyan, 
Wang Zhen, Su Mo, Mu Qingxuan, and the others were undergoing the baptism of the Divine Pool. They would soon advance to become Empyreans, and they could handle the challenges in the future. In any case, it was best for the Dragonblood Legion to act low-key for now. There were still many things for the Zhuanshan Dao sect to complete. They had to be careful and not let victory go to their heads. After arranging all this, it had already been half a month. Long Chen stealthily took a trip to the original Devil Race's base in the Grand Xia ancient nation. This time, Long Chen didn't see the seventh elder. Apparently, something urgent had happened within the original Devil Race, and the seventh elder had been forced to go back. Long Chen handed all the heavenly Dao fruit he had on him to the elder in charge and told him to quickly bring them back to his race. Long Chen then went to the Wine God Palace to see his parents. As a result, he only managed to see his mother and Xiaoyu. When he asked about his father, his mother immediately started to rage. She said that Long Xiangxiao was completely enraptured by the Wine Dao, and if he wasn't drinking wine, he was learning how to make it. He rarely spent time with them now. Fortunately, Xia Yaoluo often came to see them. She would bring them to the Imperial Palace for fun, making Xiaoyu very happy. When his mother had been preparing to send Xiaoyu into the Imperial School for her to learn some things, Xiaoyu immediately refused. She didn't want to leave her parents. After all, she had always been with them. Parting suddenly, even if it was just for a few hours made her feel afraid of the unknown. However, after being accompanied by Shia Yaluo for a while, Xiaoyu managed to make friends her age and began to play with her companions all day. She began to attend lessons with them, learning about poetry, songs, literature, etc. In any case, she was very happy learning in the imperial school, putting Long Chen at ease. Long Chen spent three days there, he paid his respects to the high priest and Xia Yuyang. He also asked Xia Yanchong about Xia Chen. Xia Yanchong said that Xia Chen was most likely a disciple from a branch of the Grand Xia's imperial family. He had no real connection with the Grand Xia, and no one knew where he was. Long Chen couldn't thank him even if he wanted to. The Grand Xia, Grand Zhou, and Grand Chu were all calm. Only the Grand Han's interior was filled with battle and fire. Refugees fleeing from within were constantly coming to the other three ancient nations. The three nations did their best to take in these refugees. They gave them land for them to set up their homes and what tools they needed. Although it was a little bitter, at least they could make their own living now. That was a thousand times better than staying in the Grand Han. With the Grand Han filled with internal warfare, the commoners were never sure whether or not they would live to see the sunrise or set each day. When Long Chen heard this, he didn't quite know what to feel. It was no wonder Xia Yuyang had said that warfare was cruel. The glory went to the highest people, while the ones who paid the debt for the battle were always the innocent commoners. Although Long Chen couldn't quite approve of Xia Yuyang's methods, he had no choice but to admit that Xia Yuyang was the most benevolent ruler he had ever seen. Whether or not his decision was right or wrong, at least the Grand Xia's commoners could live without fear of being killed the next day. Three days later, Long Chen left the Grand Xia and went to the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect during this time. The Eastern Xuan region was completely calm. At least, it was calm on the surface. There was no sound from Pill Valley, the Corrupt Path, the Ancient Races, the Ancient Family Alliance, the Blood Kill Hall, or even the Xuan Beasts. Long Chen knew that this was thanks to Ku Jinying's actions in the background. After all, the Martial Heaven Alliance was the collective alliance of the Righteous Path. The collective power of all those sects was truly terrifying. However, Long Chen trusted that his enemies wouldn't let things go after such a loss. Although Pill Valley had paid their compensation, he knew that they hated him to the bone now. They were like hunters hiding in the dark right now. They would keep waiting until they could launch a fatal blow. Evil Moon, have you finished digesting the energy from the blood gourd? Asked Long Chen. Pretty much. I've recovered about 10% of my power and can help you out with more things now. However, this is already the limit. Any more than this, and my power will provoke Yun Shang's seal. It's too bad your cultivation base is too low. If you were at the Life Star Realm, then working with me you could cut down nether passage experts like cabbages. 
Your Yuan spirit is powerful, and although it's not divine energy, it can combine with my energy to unleash a true divine attack. However, a Yuan spirit's energy has its own limits. Once we launch such an attack, it will use up all the energy of your Yuan spirit, and it won't be able to fight alongside your true body, said Evil Moon. Fuck, how irritating. Why am I never strong enough? Raged Long Chen. Why don't you check what kind of enemies you have first? You can already dominate your realm and even the realm above you. Is that not enough for you? Long Chen thought about it and supposed that was true. It wasn't that he wasn't strong enough, but that he was truly skilled at courting death. He had even courted over some nether passage experts. Long Chen quickly arrived at the heaven splitting battle sect after resting for a few days. The old man recovered to his peak state. Come, if you want to be crazy, I'll accompany you. In a secluded room within the heaven splitting battle sect, Long Chen and the old man were sitting in front of each other, their palms against each other's. They slowly closed their eyes. Chapter 1595 Strange Life Form Translator Born to be a three-inch tall figure of Long Chen appeared. It was identical in appearance to him. This was his Yuan spirit. His Yuan spirit slowly entered the old man's head, and the old man opened his mind see for Long Chen. I can't believe I was stupid enough to agree to do something so crazy. The old man bitterly smiled. His own Yuan spirit was looking at Long Chen's Yuan spirit. He truly felt like he had gone insane. No one had ever dared to do such a thing before. However, Long Chen had promised that there wouldn't be a problem. Ah, just relax. It'll be fine, said Long Chen. Prepare yourself. I'm about to start. The old man's Yuan spirit enveloped Long Chen in its energy. Long Chen could feel the old man's vitality slowly dissipating. His vision turned dark. So this is how it feels to die. Endless darkness. Long Chen felt like he had descended into eternity. It was no wonder old people said that people had to live properly and be grateful for everything they had. It was because people's deaths always lasted much longer than their lives. He didn't know how much time had passed. Eventually, a gate appeared within the darkness, and a ray of light shot out of the gate. The surroundings were still simply darkness. The only thing visible was a path formed of that light. Long Chen found that he and the old man were present, not just spiritually. They were in the same state as they were in the world of the living. He raised his arms, he raised his legs, and he found nothing different about himself in this world. His power was still there. How curious. The old man was also testing this new world. However, he quickly found that although his clothes were still present, his spatial ring had vanished along with his connection to his spiritual space. It really is just like the legends. Once in the netherworld, it's impossible to bring in things from the outer world. Even these clothes are fake, formed from the surrounding laws, said the old man. Long Chen also couldn't sense his spiritual space, but he was delighted to find that he could still sense his primal chaos space. He extended a hand, and a wooden staff appeared in his hand. It was the staff that the old man usually held. You. How did you do that? The old man jumped in shock. Long Chen had previously been told by the old man that in the netherworld, people were dead. According to some legends and sayings, the things on the Yang side were unable to enter the Yun side. That was why Long Chen had specifically asked the old man to give him the black staff. He had placed it in his primal chaos space. However, he hadn't actually expected to be able to take things out from his primal chaos space within this world. Ah, if only I had known this was possible, I would have brought in the heaven splitting blade too. Should we go back? Long Chen was vexed. In the beginning, Long Chen hadn't had any confidence in this. It had just been a casual experiment, but it had actually succeeded. If only they had brought the heaven splitting blade then the old man's chances of success would have been practically guaranteed. Little fellow, you really have some skill. The old man took the staff excitedly. With the weapon in hand, his confidence rose. Seeing Long Chen's vexed expression, he said, Be happy with what we have. This is the netherworld, the opposite side of the yang world. The heaven-splitting blade's nature is heavily yang. If we brought it in here, it would be like carrying a lantern in the darkness. That's too dangerous. The staff is good enough, and its body originally came from a darker place. 
It's not as conspicuous in this world, and I can use split the heavens with it. As for going back, that's impossible. Once I go back through this gate, the gate will forever close, and I would never have another chance at the Nether Passage realm. The two of them continued onward through the gate. As expected, a long bridge appeared on the other side. The bridge was covered in dense smoke, and countless figures were roaming across it. There were men and women, young and old. They were staring vacantly. When he had seen them through Kujin Ying's vision, he hadn't sensed anything in particular about them. However, this time, he clearly sensed their spiritual fluctuations. They weren't the spiritual fluctuations of normal people. Their spiritual fluctuations were completely calm. They should be mortals whose souls were drawn here after death. They are roaming aimlessly. Watch out. That fellow's appeared. Suddenly, the old man stopped after seeing the chain-wielding monstrosity appear. It was like a killing machine. Its chains piercing through these wandering souls and absorbing them. Those chains should be treasures focused on absorbing souls. Long Chen's eyes began to shine. Don't you dare. Those chains cannot be touched. The old man jumped in shock upon seeing Long Chen's expression. Long Chen's guts were even bigger than his noveloon.com I was just talking. How could I be as unreliable as that? Don't even try it. I can tell what you're thinking with just a glance. We're not in the netherworld for fun. Don't mess around. We've already agreed that you're to scram as soon as we arrive at the gates of hell. Warned the old man. The old man had agreed to let Long Chen come, but only to the outer regions. He was to leave from his gate once they reached the gates of hell. This gate had the old man's spiritual mark on it. As long as the old man didn't die, this gate would stay open. Although the Nether Passage realm was mysterious, there was still some general knowledge passed down from ancient stories. Fine, I'll listen, said Long Chen obediently. He didn't want the old man to drive him away in a fit of rage. The old man and Long Chen carefully walked past the monstrosity. The old man was ready to attack at any moment, as he was afraid of this monstrosity sensing that Long Chen did not belong here. Although Long Chen's spiritual strength was powerful, he did not possess life and death energy. The old man was very worried for him. He was the hope of the heaven-splitting battle sect fortunately. The monstrosity didn't even look at them. The two of them easily passed by it. But just at that moment, rumbling rang out behind them, causing them to jump in fright. In the distance, another gate had opened, and a large red-haired man walked out. This man was a head taller than Long Chen and had a third eye on his forehead. Long Chen and the old man's hearts shook. This was clearly another expert attacking the Nether Passage realm. Furthermore, his aura was very powerful. His third eye gave Long Chen a sense of grave danger. This person was definitely not human. His aura was turbulent, as if he had been bedeviled. A human definitely wouldn't have such an aura. A person's aura stayed the same upon entering the netherworld. The red-haired man looked around and slowly approached the bridge. When he saw the chain-wielding monstrosity, a red light shot out of his third eye and illuminated the monstrosity. The monstrosity didn't seem to sense anything. It continued to harvest the roaming souls. The old man transmitted to Long Chen. His eye should be a kind of magical art to peer through a person's abilities. You can see strange runes appearing on the chains when his red light illuminates it. After examining the monstrosity, the red-haired man carefully dodged it and continued onward. He quickly reached a place closer to the two of them. When he saw Long Chen, he became dumbfounded. He was clearly shocked at Long Chen's cultivation base. Then when he saw the old man's staff, his expression completely changed. He pointed at it and strange sounds came from his mouth. Do you know how to speak the human language? Probed Long Chen. The red-haired man didn't seem to understand him, and he suddenly attacked Long Chen with a claw. His hand was as quick as lightning. Fuck. Do you think I'm easy to bully? Raged Long Chen. Long Chen was just about to attack when the old man's staff swung from a strange angle at the red-haired man's wrist. What startled Long Chen was that the staff suddenly became flexible and wrapped around the red-haired man's wrist. The red-haired man was also startled, and he was just about to pull back when the old man landed a kick on his crotch, sending him flying. Ah, it seems I'm not the only one skilled in the crotch kick. Long Chen had never expected that the old man was also skilled in this move. Brat, 
You dare to bully my family's child? Are you trying to get yourself killed? Shouted the old man, pointing his staff at the red-haired man. The red-haired man suddenly let out a furious roar, and a red light shot out of his third eye. The red light contained strange runes. When they appeared, Long Chen felt like the world was collapsing. He almost coughed up blood. Activate your sixth sense, shouted the old man. His staff transformed into a black streak that smashed toward the red light. Boom. The red light exploded. Split the heavens five. Just at this moment, with the staff already swung down, a black saber image shot out of it. Two attacks in one move. Long Chen was shocked. The old man's technique was truly refined. The red-haired also hadn't expected such a strange move. His hands drew a circle in the air, forming a blood-colored barrier in front of him. He let out a miserable scream as a huge cut appeared in the middle of his body, almost cutting him in half. Chapter 1596 Black Lake Translator Born to be the red-haired man miserably flew back. He let out a startled scream as he was flying toward the chain-wielding monstrosity. He then slammed his palm in the air, forcibly changing his direction. He narrowly flew by it. The red-haired man was pale. He had almost crashed into it just now. He had also seen through how terrifying this monstrosity was. It was unknown what secret technique he had, but his injury quickly recovered. Now when he looked at the old man, he had a fearful expression. Brat, if you want to fight, let's fight. The old man pointed his staff at him threateningly. The old man's temper was explosive. Plus it was the red-haired man who had attacked first. If this situation wasn't special, he'd have long since started a fight. The red-haired man snorted. He said a few garbled things that they couldn't understand and then went in another direction. This bridge was so wide that he quickly vanished from sight. He had clearly decided to leave so they could each walk their own paths. Old man, why don't we join hands and kill him? Probed Long Chen. Long Chen had no interest in that person's life, but he was curious about his memories. He wanted to know what race he came from. This place isn't suitable for a fight. Furthermore, there's nothing worthwhile for us to take such a risk, said the old man. Long Chen nodded. That was true. There were no treasures to snatch here. Long Chen estimated that this fellow had attacked because he had seen the old man carrying a weapon from the outside world in the netherworld. He had wanted to know the reason and so he had wanted to search Long Chen's soul. HMPH. Count yourself lucky, snorted Long Chen inside at that red-haired man. If the old man wasn't present, he really would have an urge to capture that fellow. However, now he had to be an obedient child. Long Chen followed the old man, and they encountered the chain-wielding monstrosities dozens of times. The concept of time and space was very muddled here. He could only get a general understanding of his surroundings. Based on his calculations, they had walked for a day to reach the end of the bridge. As for how long the distance was, there was no way to calculate it. They didn't see the red-haired man again. Based on the red-haired man's speed, he had probably reached this place long before them. However, once they reached the end, they saw that the lake in front of them was not blood-colored, but black. It was like ink. What dense death energy. This is a poison lake, cried the old man. The lake's death aura was absolutely terrifying. Just by smelling it, he could feel his life energy fading. It seems not everyone walks the same path in the netherworld. Long Chen, you should go back. This place is very dangerous, said the old man. This black lake looked even more terrifying than the blood-colored lake Kujianying had crossed. Even being splashed by this water could be very troublesome. I'll be fine. Just wait a second. I'll prepare a set of armor for you. A ball of mud appeared in Long Chen's hand, and he wiped it across the old man's face. The old man was caught off guard and allowed Long Chen to wipe the mud across his face. He raged. Brat, what are you doing? Don't panic. I'm making you a mud armor to guarantee your safety against the black water. Long Chen smiled. This mud was no ordinary mud. It was the black soil that came from the primal chaos space. Long Chen was sure that this soil of death could resist the corrosion of the black water. The old man thought that Long Chen was messing around, but Long Chen's expression was serious, so he allowed it to happen. He was quickly encased in mud armor. Although it looked strange, this was definitely a good thing. 
You don't need to be so careful now. My black soil isn't normal soil. It's sticky and should follow your movements. As long as you don't tear it off, it shouldn't fall, said Long Chen. Long Chen took out a sword. It was an ancestral item, and although it was already broken, it was still very tough. He stuck the tip inside the black water. When he pulled it out, he and the old man sucked in a cold gasp of air. The portion that had entered the black water had vanished silently. Good stuff. Long Chen gulped. Brat, don't tell me you want to drink it. Raged the old man upon seeing Long Chen's excited expression. Long Chen smiled mischievously and didn't reply. He got to work again and quickly wrapped his leg in black soil as well. He then stepped into the black water. The old man let out a startled cry. It was too late to stop Long Chen, but he was dumbfounded to see Long Chen pull his leg out. His foot was still there, completely fine. All right, let's get going. Long Chen smiled. This black water couldn't do anything to his black soil. If he didn't think it would be too troublesome, he could even make a small boat out of the black soil. However, that would be too time consuming. The two of them jumped onto the floating logs. All of a sudden, they sensed some mysterious energy sealing their energy, so they couldn't use magical arts here and could only walk obediently. The two of them were now very slow. Black mist surrounded them, making it so they couldn't see the path forward or back. They could only see the floating log beneath their feet. The Yellow Springs path really is interesting. This path is just like a person's life. Looking at the path forward and back will both bewilder people. The path back is just as covered with mist as the path forward. If you try to retreat, one wrong step will lead to death. Rather than retreating with your eyes closed, continuing to advance with your eyes open is better. You can't see your goal or hope, but you can see your next step. As long as you persevere, no matter how long the path is, you'll reach the end eventually. However, countless people die during the process because they can't see any hope. Sometimes they might just be one step from the shore, but their despair causes them to fall, said the old man emotionally. In truth, the old man did not know that this was the Yellow Springs path. He just felt that this situation was very similar to the Yellow Springs path in stories. So he was moved to say this. Long Chen nodded, saying to just keep going sounds simple, but it really is difficult, especially during those days when it's impossible to see any hope. Despair is inevitable. However, true experts will also persevere whether or not they can see any hope, because they have some reason why they must persevere. He looked at the boundless Yellow Springs path. The way in front was shrouded. The way back was covered in mist. Wasn't this an exact portrayal of his current situation? He had no way back. He had to find his biological parents and solve the riddle of his origins. However, before he could solve this riddle, he was tossed into a world filled with enemies. He also had a family of his hot-blooded brothers and beautiful women following him. He couldn't go back. He not only had to achieve his dreams, but he also had to achieve the dreams of everyone who followed him. No matter how dangerous it was, he had to continue forward. Little fellow, don't say the words of someone old and world-weary, said the old man with a smile. He hadn't expected Long Chen to also say such a thing. In his eyes, Long Chen was still a child. Long Chen bitterly smiled. He also felt like he was old. There were many things he was seeing clearer, which only made him more tired. He thought back to when he and Little Snow had first left the Phoenix Cry Empire. At that time, he had been filled with hope, and he had wanted to live a carefree life. He had thought that the higher his cultivation base, the fewer restrictions he would have. His frame of mind had changed. The greatest change had occurred when Little Snow died. Although Little Snow's crystal core was still being nourished by Menki's myriad spirit diagram, Long Chen felt like his heart was being stabbed every time he thought of how Little Snow had died to protect him. Whether or not a person matured didn't depend on their age. The main thing was what they experienced. Although he was only in his twenties, he had a weather-beaten heart. Fortunately, he still had some immature fellows to play around with. That was the only time Long Chen could feel young. Long Chen, something's off. Those fish monsters still haven't appeared. Did we take a wrong turn somewhere? Cried out the old man suddenly even after walking for a long time. There wasn't the slightest change. That was too strange. 
It was completely different from what Ku Jianying had experienced. Don't be so suspicious. Senior Ku walked on a red path, while we're on a black path. It's normal for it to be different. Stop trying to shake my confidence, said Long Chen. This truly was a bit strange, but they were still following the wooden logs. They couldn't have gone in the wrong direction. The two of them were still continuing forward when Long Chen's eyes brightened. He saw a red light in the distance and quickened his footsteps. He quickly saw what that red light was. It was the red-haired man. At this time, the red-haired man was enveloped by a red light that protected himself from the black mist. The black mist was continuously striking his barrier like black vipers. The red-haired man's expression was extremely ugly. His aura had weakened a great deal already, and he was adjusting his condition while standing on a floating log. Long Chen instantly realized what was going on. This mist was the attacker here. However, with the black soil protecting them, the mist couldn't do a single thing to them. Seeing that the red-robed man was extremely tired from blocking the mist, Long Chen had a thought. He stealthily approached. Just as he was preparing to attack, the red-haired man turned back to see them. He let out a startled and cry and fled into the distance, disappearing from sight. Damn. He actually ran. Long Chen clapped himself in the leg. He had almost caught him. Chapter 1597 Collecting the Blackwater Translator Born to be the red-haired man was definitely using some kind of divine ability to forcibly hold back the black mist. However, based on appearances, doing so was very taxing to him. Only now did the old man realize that the reason this black lake didn't seem as frightening as the blood-colored lake was thanks to Long Chen's black soil. It isolated them from the mist. The two of them continued forward. There were no surprises or dangers, but they didn't dare to be careless. After all, there was no need to take any risks. Stability was the most important thing here. The two of them eventually reached the end of the floating logs and the whirlpool of nine different colored pools appeared. When they personally witnessed it, this sight was even more stunning. They felt majestic energy gathering. It was like all the deos of the world were concentrating here, as if this was the pinnacle of the world. When he saw the nine colored whirlpool, Long Chen felt his 108,000 stars slowly circulating. As expected, my senses weren't wrong. These nine lakes have some kind of connection to the nine star hegemon body art muttered Long Chen. Through Ku Jianying's vision, he had immediately felt an urge to come here when he had seen these lakes. That was the main reason why he had decided to take this risk. Or rather than saying that the nine lakes were related to the nine star hegemon body art, perhaps there was some aspect of them that was based on the same concept as the nine star hegemon body art. The two of them stood on the edge of the whirlpool. The flow of the nine liquids was like the cycle of life. There was joy. Sorrow, anger, the cycle of birth and death. It was all in an endless cycle. How regretful. Once I return to my true body, all these memories regarding the netherworld will disappear. I really don't know how Ku Jianying managed to seal a portion of her memories of this place, sighed the old man. For most nether passage experts, their final memory would be going into the gate. Everything that happened in the netherworld would be erased. It was unknown what technique Ku Jianying had used to retain a portion of her memories. Even the old man had no choice but to admit that her abilities were amazing. The old man had originally wanted to tell what he had seen in Ku Jianying's memories to Boss Ba and the others. However, he was stunned to find that whenever he wanted to say it, his memories of it would vanish. Then when he no longer wanted to say it, his memories returned. The secrets of the world of the dead could not be spoken. Although the two of them knew some of the secrets of this world, only they could know it. They were unable to transmit it to others. Regretfully, once the old man left the netherworld, his memories of the netherworld from Ku Jianying would probably also be erased along with these new memories. These nine lakes are a manifestation of the heavenly deos. They contain the principles of life, death, and reincarnation, the mysteries of the universe's rise and fall. If I could comprehend them, wouldn't I be able to ascend in the future, said the old man emotionally. However, that was impossible. No matter how much he comprehended here, that comprehension would vanish once he left. It would be like a dream that he couldn't remember. Let's go. The old man looked on for a while before turning to leave. 
It was nice to dream, but looking was useless. He had to get to work. Long Chen nodded without saying anything. He didn't know that it was impossible to tell others about the netherworld. The main thing was that he hadn't tried. However, even if he did, it wouldn't be useful. Although he had seen the memories Ku Jin Ying had left behind, the feeling was not as strong as experiencing it in person. Long Chen went down the whirlpool with the old man. There was a straight staircase that the two of them went down, with the nine colored waterfall around them. Long Chen felt the turning of the cosmos within the water. It was like he was lost in the river of time. Time seemed to be speeding by yet also standing still. That feeling was very difficult to describe. Damn it. Is my realm too low to understand it? Cursed Long Chen. Right now, all he could feel was shock. He was unable to understand the true meaning behind this. Long Chen and the old man continued downward. When they were still some distance from the bottom, the waterfall began to slow down and flow back upward. It was a shocking sight. When they arrived at the ground, they saw a giant castle with giant gates. When Long Chen saw these gates of hell, there were already dozens of other figures in front of it. Amongst them was the red-haired man. He was sitting lotus-style in a corner. Although he looked calm, Long Chen knew he was faking it to not appear weak. He was definitely in the midst of recovering. The black mist should have exhausted a great deal of his energy. Although they saw through his act, Long Chen and the old man didn't expose him. They looked toward the other people. Perhaps they shouldn't be described as people. Many were not fully humanoid. Some were humanoid with wings. Some were covered in scales. Some had long tails. There were all kinds of life forms. There were some giant beasts amongst them as well. Long Chen's heart shook. Was the Martial Heaven Continent truly so powerful? There were this many experts attacking the Nether Passage Realm? These fellows aren't from the Martial Heaven Continent, or there's no way I wouldn't recognize any of them. They came from other domains. Transmitted the old man to Long Chen as they sat down to rest. The Yellow Springs path might have passed without any surprises, but the old man needed some time to recover from that state of high tension. Other domains, asked Long Chen Noveloon.com The universe isn't composed of just the Martial Heaven continent, or perhaps it would be more accurate to say that the Martial Heaven continent is just a speck of dust in the universe. Due to the Battle of the Immortal Era, the world was fractured, and our path to ascension was severed. The Martial Heaven Continent also lost its connection to the rest of the world. However, this is the Netherworld, the place where people come when they die. It's possible to encounter existences from the outer world here, said the old man. These life forms were all silent and maintaining a respectful distance from each other. However, many of them looked over at Long Chen and the old man in shock. They were shocked at Long Chen's cultivation base and the old man's staff. However, they weren't as foolish as the red-haired man, and they didn't attack the two of them. These fellows are all harboring some evil thoughts. How about I send you back to the Yellow Springs path, said the old man. Long Chen was about to refuse as he didn't fear these people. However, he didn't want the old man to worry either and have that affect his mental state. He nodded and turned back, but when they saw the place the staircase had touched the ground, the old man's expression changed. Where is the staircase? Long Chen was startled. He could still see the staircase, but the old man couldn't. Could it be that after crossing the Yellow Springs path, the experts attacking the Nether Passage realm could not go back? Old man, the staircase is still present for me. You can keep going forward, and I'll go back. I'll wait for your good news, said Long Chen as he climbed back up. Seeing that Long Chen was capable of going up, the old man relaxed. He walked over to the gates of hell, in front of all those strange life forms. He walked right through them, vanishing behind them and beginning to truly attack the nether passage realm. Long Chen returned to the original black lake. He waved his hand, and a pillar of black water soared toward him. At the same time, a large vortex appeared behind him, sucking in the black water. Long Chen's primal chaos space had grown along with his cultivation base. It was now as large as the entire Grand Shia ancient nation. The central black soil was also tens of thousands of miles wide. With just a thought, it formed a giant hole, and the black water poured into it. Ha ha ha, success. Long Chen laughed. This black water contained an air of absolute death, 
and it was stronger than the strongest of poisons. It was the best killing tool. Although the black soil also possessed the power to kill, it was only effective against vegetation. On the other hand, this black water was effective against anything living. Anything touched by it would quickly be destroyed. Even experts attacking the nether passage realm couldn't bear it. Then killing life star experts should be easy, especially if they didn't have a divine item to protect themselves. After all, based on his previous test, not even ancestral items could block it. If he had had this black water during the dragon slaughtering convention, then wouldn't he have been able to slaughter his enemies to the last with just a piss? As Long Chen sucked in the black water, the world suddenly began to shake uneasily. Long Chen instantly felt a grave sense of danger and stopped. Long Chen looked around and didn't see anything. Once he stopped, the terrifying sensation of danger slowly faded. What? It's this stingy? I can't even take a bit of water. Long Chen realized that taking this black water had touched one of the laws of the Yellow Springs path. If he continued taking it, he might be killed by those laws. Looking inside the primal chaos space, he saw a 30-mile lake inside it. There was already quite a bit of the black water. If this black water represents death, then the white water must represent life. Since I only took the black water, it caused a disbalance. Let me see if I can take the life water and then some more black water. Long Chen took out more black soil, and mixing it with the branches of the world tree as a foundation, he made a small boat. He roasted it with fire and then made a paddle from the black soil as well. He began to speed along the water in a boat. Chapter 1598 Butterfly Woman Translator Born to be the small boat sped along. Only once Long Chen was trying to paddle did he find that this lake caused his paddling speed to lessen dramatically. HMPH. I refuse to accept this. Long Chen made another paddle on the boat and then began paddling with all his might. The paddles looked like wheels as he spun them, and the small boat almost started flying as it bounced along the water. With his speed increased, he quickly left the black lake and arrived at an orange lake. In this region, it was like gravity had suddenly lightened, and as a result, his quick paddling caused his boat to fly into the air. It seems each region represents a different law. Whatever, getting the white water is more important. Time is definitely different here. If a hundred years passed in the outside world while I'm in here, that would be bad. It was impossible to sense the flow of time here. Although a hundred years was a bit exaggerated, if a few years had passed when he returned, then who knew what could have happened? The Zhuangshan Dao sect was still surrounded by powerful enemies. Long Chen quickly crossed the Orange Lake. When he flew over the bridge of floating logs, a life form was swaying on top of it and it looked like it couldn't maintain its center of gravity. When it saw Long Chen's boat fly over it, it let out a startled cry and almost fell in. Long Chen left the orange region and entered the violet region. As soon as he did so, he sensed something. He hastily put away the boat and stepped onto the lake. Countless lightning runes appeared on the surface of the lake. With five colored lightning wrapped around him, Long Chen directly ran across it. This violet lake actually contained Thunder Force. With his own five-colored lightning, this Thunder Force was unable to do anything to him. However, he still felt a stinging sensation on his feet. That made him very curious. His Thunder Force was one of pure Yang power, while the lake's Thunder Force was a strange Yin lightning. A portion of its power was able to bypass the protection of the five-colored lightning. However, it wasn't even an injury just a stinging sensation. Although Long Chen couldn't fly, he was as fast as lightning as he crossed this region. A lightning beast suddenly appeared, blocking Long Chen's path. It was a strange lightning fish. It opened its mouth, attempting to swallow him. Get out of the way. Long Chen directly slapped the fish away. However, he remembered not to kill this fish creature. Otherwise, it would cause even more of them to attack him. The strange fish let out a furious roar and once more attacked Long Chen. Its speed was shocking with its giant tail. Lightning wings appeared on Long Chen's back, and his speed instantly increased. Two rapid figures could now be seen speeding along the top of the Violet Lake. Even within its own domain, the lightning fish couldn't catch up to him. Ripples spread as Long Chen stamped down on the ground, activating his emergency brakes. 
The blue lake was ahead Novaloon.com The blue water was frighteningly still, but he felt a terrifying danger from this lake. Although Long Chen managed to stop himself, the fish behind him didn't have emergency brakes. Long Chen dodged its attempt to swallow him, and it shot into the blue region. It crashed into the surface of the lake, but rather than raising a shower of water, not even a single drop was displaced. Time seemed to stand still. The instant the lightning fish touched the surface of the water, time seemed to freeze. It stayed in its original posture, just barely touching the surface of the water. What terrifying ice Chi Long Chen was shocked to see it suddenly come to stop. However, frost crystals quickly began to appear around it. Those crystals were incredibly small and almost impossible to notice. That made Long Chen's heart pound. This lightning fish did not possess an actual physical body. It was composed of lightning. Just how terrifying did this ice chi have to be in order to freeze it? Fuck. How dangerous Long Chen had never encountered such a thing. This ice water was even more terrifying to him than the death water. Unfortunately, he couldn't take any of it like how he had taken the black water. If he did, probably all the world trees and precious medicinal ingredients in his primal chaos space would be destroyed. Ah, the most painful thing is seeing good stuff but not being able to take it away. Long Chen was vexed. The netherworld was definitely a good place with all kinds of killer items. However, he didn't have enough time to study them. Golden flames appeared on Long Chen's feet as he summoned the heaven incinerating flame. He cautiously stepped onto the blue water. Fuck, it's freezing. Long Chen sucked in a cold gasp of air. Even with the heaven incinerating flame, he couldn't completely block the ice G. It felt like needles were stabbing him from the bottom of his feet. Those needles were so long that they stabbed his bones. That pain was even insufferable for Long Chen. This ice lake is ridiculous. Long Chen looked around and shook his head. This place was not far from the whirlpool where the nine lakes gathered. Since he had no idea how long the lake was, or how long it would take to bypass it, who knew whether something would block his path again or not? I'll risk it. Long Chen clenched his teeth. Increasing his flame power, he raced across the water. Fuck. 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 A flaming figure could be seen shooting across the water. Long Chen was sweating from the pain. His knees were particularly painful whenever he moved them. Just as he was unable to endure any longer. He reached the bridge of floating logs. He immediately jumped onto them. His entire body was covered in frost now. As soon as he jumped onto the floating logs, he felt like his entire body had been frozen stiff. Huo Long flew out of Long Chen's arm and wrapped itself around him, expelling the ice chi. The ice chi was too powerful. At first, Huo Long was able to block the majority of it. However, as it continuously invaded Long Chen's body, Huo Long's power was gradually suppressed by it. Hence, more and more ice chi had accumulated in Long Chen's body. If it weren't for his powerful constitution, he'd have long since died. Although he hadn't lost his life, he had lost half of it just now. Huo Long could only slowly expel it now. Once all the ice chi was expelled, Long Chen sighed with relief. Huo Long actually let out a human like sound when it crawled back onto Long Chen's arm. Ha ha ha. It's not your fault. You're still small. Once you grow up and refine a few divine crystals, you'll be able to block it completely. Comforted Long Chen. Huo Long was actually blaming itself for not being able to block the ice G. In truth, Huo Long was already shockingly powerful. It was able to unleash the full power of the heaven incinerating flame. However, because Lai Long had devoured the five colored lightning and was absorbing the power of divine lightning. Its power had surpassed Huo Long's. Both Huo Long and Lai Long were growing more intelligent and even starting to understand some human emotions. Long Chen had to look after their emotions. The flame crystals that he had obtained in the Heaven Dragon Flame region in Pill Valley had already been absorbed. As for the Supreme Divine Flame crystals that had been part of the formation to seal the Aldevil monster, their quality was too high for Huo Long to absorb them yet. So its power hadn't increased in a while. On the other hand, Lai Long was eating until it was full each day. Its power was constantly rising. Just now, Lai Long had done so well in helping Long Chen pass the violet region, but Huo Long hadn't, causing it to feel guilty. Just as Long Chen was comforting Huo Long, 
a figure appeared ahead. It was a slender woman with a pair of wings on her back. The wings were wide, like a butterfly's. They were brightly colored and beautiful. The woman herself was also very stunning. She looked to be a work of art, with every part of her appearing perfect. She also belonged to a race that Long Chen didn't recognize. Her wings were slowly fluttering, and thousands of runes could be seen flickering as they moved. It was like there was an illusion or fantasy wrapped around her. The Ice Chi was unable to touch her. Of course, she was just crossing on the floating logs. It was difficult to say if she could be so nonchalant if she were standing on the actual water. When she saw Long Chen resting on the log, she was shocked. She found that Long Chen's cultivation base was too low. Furthermore, he wasn't even using a divine ability to force back this Ice Chi. Long Chen retreated to the side a bit, his meaning that she could pass and that he wouldn't attack her. The woman looked at Long Chen for a while. She suddenly opened her mouth and spoke, but Long Chen couldn't understand what she was saying. The woman looked at Long Chen oddly and didn't try to speak again. She slowly walked past Long Chen, but her gaze locked onto him, on guard against a sneak attack. Long Chen's guard was also raised. After all, this was a powerful expert attacking the Nether Passage realm. Furthermore, these strange life forms all had their own bizarre divine abilities. The two of them were now on one log, which was just six meters long. At such a close distance, any sneak attack could be fatal. Long Chen stared closely at her, and she stared closely back. Just as the two of them were passing by each other, a giant figure appeared from the front, and space began to rumble. The woman's expression changed, and fright manifested in her eyes. Chapter 1599 Blood-Colored Three-Headed Lion Translator Born to be the figure that had appeared was a 300-meter lion covered in blood-colored fur. It had three heads, one large one and two smaller ones, growing out of the side of its neck. It emitted a terrifying pressure. All of its hair was standing on end. A strong flame energy came from it, twisting space around it. What powerful flame energy. It's not inferior to the heaven incinerating flame at all. Long Chen was shocked by that sight. Ever since he had come to possess the heaven incinerating flame, he had yet to encounter another flame as strong as it. The lion let out a roar toward Long Chen. Although Long Chen didn't understand what it was saying, he could tell its general meaning. If you don't want to die, then scram. The lion didn't pause as it rushed forward. It didn't give Long Chen or the butterfly woman a chance to get out of its way. It was extremely tyrannical. Its red fur glowed, and flames were constantly surging out of it. There was no way the two of them could get out of its way on this narrow path. Long Chen saw the pale face of the butterfly woman. Looking at her wings, he realized she had to be weak to fire. Most likely, her wings would be destroyed if touched by these powerful flames and that was where most of the power of her cultivation base was located. However, if she jumped into the lake, she would instantly be frozen and killed. She panicked. Fuck. I've seen tyrannical people but not someone even more tyrannical than me. Long Chen grabbed the butterfly woman's arm and flung her into the air. She let out a startled cry. Neil. Long Chen roared. He leaped into the air and smashed his fist into its large head. Boom. Violet ripples surged on the lake and waves of ice chi soared into the sky. Long Chen and the lion fell off the floating logs and into the lake. Up in the air, the butterfly woman was still letting out startled cries. Although she didn't understand what Long Chen was saying, she knew that he had saved her. However, she couldn't save him now that he had fallen into the lake. In this place, her powerful wings were useless. She reached her peak in the sky after being thrown and slowly descended. The lion appeared. Standing on top of the lake, flames enveloped its body, and divine runes appeared on its feet. It wasn't frozen. Long Chen was also enveloped in flames, standing on top of the lake and looking at the lion. The lion stamped down on the water, transforming into a red bolt of light shooting at Long Chen. Just now, neither of them had managed to get an advantage over the other. However, Long Chen had attacked from a stationary position, while the lion had been charging forward. To be even in power after that showed that Long Chen's raw power surpassed the lion's. I thought you were so badass, but you're only this powerful. A flame spear appeared in Long Chen's hands, and he stabbed it at the lion. Its giant claw met Long Chen's spear, 
Boom. The lion actually flipped into the air due to Long Chen's attack. It let out a pained grunt as it tumbled back. The butterfly woman stared in shock. She had never imagined this seemingly weak human would be even more terrifying than the lion. She immediately ran along the wooden logs once she landed and stopped near the whirlpool. If she went down, she would be safe. However, she didn't immediately leave. Instead, she watched as Long Chen fought the lion. The lion let out a heaven-shaking roar. All of its fur stood on end, and its body seemed to grow larger. Suddenly, its other two heads opened their mouths as well. Three fiery rays of sword light shot out at Long Chen. Long Chen felt a chill, sensing a fatal danger from them. Long Chen immediately dodged. Lightning wings appeared on his back as he instantly accelerated to his peak. Shockingly, a large cut appeared on the lake where the first sword light struck. Water droplets filled the air and transformed into frozen crystals. Long Chen immediately unleashed a wall of flames, blocking the ice crystals. He definitely couldn't touch those. If just the surface of the water was so terrifying, then what about the water that shot out of the lake? Long Chen jumped forward, charging toward the lion. It opened its mouth, and three rays of sword light shot out again. They looked like they shot out together, yet there was a strange interval between them. They came at different angles, and according to reason, no matter how he dodged, he would be struck by one. This was one of the lion's divine abilities, and it was incredibly powerful. However, Long Chen's body twisted strangely, and he unfathomably managed to dodge all of them. His speed was too fast for one to see how he had done it. Having the sixth sense activated really is nice. If it was before, Long Chen would only be able to take this attack head on. However, now he could use his sixth sense to dodge this move. Any move that involved any trickery wouldn't be able to fool him. His head was also clearer than ever. He could clearly calculate the timing of any attacks coming for him. So these three strange attacks weren't able to strike him. No matter how powerful the move, if it couldn't hit him, it would be useless. Having this sixth sense was extremely helpful. Long Chen felt like he had been an amateur before opening his sixth sense. Only now was he a real expert. The lion seemed to be shocked that Long Chen could dodge its attack so easily. Furthermore, his speed hadn't dropped. It suddenly roared, and its body grew explosively. It once more opened its three mouths, and three huge bolts of sword light pierced through space. At this time, Long Chen was already close to it, and now that its body had grown larger, this attack was far too large for Long Chen to possibly dodge. You want to force me into a head-on exchange? That's fine with me. Split the heaven six. The flame spear in Long Chen's hands transformed into a flame blade. A huge flaming saber image soared into the sky. The huge saber image crashed against the three bolts of sword light. Flames exploded, and the immense force caused the water around them to explode. Countless crystals shot out. In the distance. The butterfly woman covered her mouth. She hadn't expected two crazy fellows to start a life and death battle in such a place. When the flames vanished, it revealed a huge hole in the lake. The surging waves had frozen. Within those frozen waves were Long Chen and the three-headed lion. They had turned into frozen statues. Cracking sounds rang out as the ice encasing the two of them shattered at the same time. Long Chen slashed his flame saber at the lion once more. The lion's fur had started to dim. Unleashing consecutive powerful attacks had taken up a great deal of its energy. Hence, it turned to run. You want to run? No matter. You have to leave something behind. Do you think you can make me do so much work for nothing? Roared Long Chen. He shot after the lion. The lion used some kind of secret art. And its fur began to ignite. It accelerated. Going even faster than Long Chen. However. Long Chen had taken the initiative, and the lion's body was too large for it to dodge fully. Long Chen's attack ended up taking one of its legs. Ha ha ha, a leg's not bad either idea. What the fuck? Long Chen had just caught that leg when it suddenly vanished into ripples. Are you an idiot? None of the life forms here are in their physical bodies. What did you expect to get after wasting that much time and effort? Evil Moon's sneer rang out in Long Chen's head. All of Long Chen's trump cards had been moved into his primal chaos space before entering the netherworld, and so Long Chen could summon Evil Moon whenever he wanted. Furthermore, Evil Moon could see everything that Long Chen could see. 
Long Chen had actually forgotten about this and had been thinking of bringing back the lion to study it. However, he quibbled. TCH, what do you understand? This is called teaching a lesson. If you didn't even vent after something like that, would you even be a man? Long Chen returned to the floating logs. Even after such an intense battle, he hadn't gained anything. Only at this time did he sense the immense pain radiating through his body. Without even being aware, the ice chi had already invaded his meridians. He immediately began circulating his flame energy to expel it. Just at this moment, the butterfly woman slowly walked over to him. Chapter 1600 An Affair? Translator. Born to be the woman brushed her right hand in front of her chest. Most likely as some kind of strange and ancient etiquette. Long Chen didn't know what she was saying, but based on her expression, he guessed she was thanking him. No need to be courteous it was that. Big. Hairy fellow. He was too irritating. I didn't like the way he looked. I was just venting. Long Chen began to gesture as he spoke, telling a story with his arms and expressions, hoping she would understand. Maybe if you didn't gesture, she would understand better. But the way I see it, it looks more like you're trying to seduce her, laughed Evil Moon. TCH, how could my communication abilities be so bad, raged Long Chen. He thought he was showing what he wanted to say very clearly. Seeing Long Chen's expression, the woman laughed. However, seeming to feel it was impolite, she quickly stopped. She began to speak again, and following Long Chen, also began to gesture. However, he was unable to understand anything she was trying to say. Furthermore, he found that her spiritual fluctuations were completely different from his own. There was no way to communicate. As a result, the two of them just looked at each other helplessly. After a while, Long Chen felt like he had rested enough. He bade his farewell. Goodbye, pretty lady. Long Chen didn't want to waste any more time. He wanted to take the white water. However, the woman grabbed him before he could leave. Holding his hand, she suddenly got down on one knee, causing Long Chen to jump in shock. Hey, are you proposing? That's way too sudden. I'd have to go back and discuss this with my other wives first, cried Long Chen. The woman ignored whatever he was saying. She closed her eyes and began to murmur something. A hallowed light began to shine from her face. Evil Moon, what's she saying? This couldn't be a marriage ceremony. Right, asked Long Chen. Stop dreaming. Although I don't know what she's saying, this is clearly a prayer. Perhaps she's blessing your poser arts to continue improving beyond perfection so you can advance the entire art. Fuck off, cursed Long Chen. He found that Evil Moon was growing more and more unreliable. Even though they were now getting along better, the woman eventually opened her eyes. She actually left a deep kiss on the back of Long Chen's hand, causing him to jump. He had never encountered such a situation and was dumbfounded. An imprint of her lips was left on the back of his hand once she finished. Long Chen knew he was doomed. Once he returned, how was he supposed to explain this? What would Tang Wan Er do to him? However, he then realized that this mark would disappear once he returned to his physical body, and there would be no proof of it ever happening. Could this be the legendary, secret affair? After giving him this kiss, the woman respectfully bowed toward him, turned around, and left. In the end, that legendary affair never happened. Ha ha ha, Evil Moon's laughter was quite delightful. Shut up, your laughter sounds too ugly, raged Long Chen. Evil Moon's laughter only grew more delighted. Long Chen cursed. Flame energy enveloped him again, and he rushed off. With his previous experience with the invasion of the Ice G, his body seemed to have formed a certain resistance toward it, and it wasn't as painful as the first time. Although the Ice G still managed to invade his body, he was able to resist it. Long Chen quickly reached the end of the Blue Region. The Red Lake was ahead. This was the Red Lake that Ku Jinying had encountered. Long Chen took out the Black Boat once more. He found that the Primal Chaos Space's black soil was really miraculous. Even the Red Lake was unable to do anything to it. Only then did he jump in the boat and start using it again. He ran into trouble almost immediately after entering the Red Region. One of the fish monsters attacked him. He had already tested the water and found that it was strangely sticky. There was no way for his thunder force or flame energy to run across it. If he fell off the boat, 
it would probably be troublesome. Furthermore, he couldn't kill this creature, or countless more of them would be drawn over. It would then become difficult to advance. The fish monster was 30 meters long. His tiny boat was like a plaything in comparison to it. The fish monster wasn't trying to eat Long Chen. It was actually playing with the boat, using it as a ball. It threw Long Chen left and right. Long Chen ignored it at first, thinking that it would get tired of playing and leave. However, it seemed to be having great fun. Sometimes, it threw Long Chen into the air, making him nauseous. Fuck. Did I give you too much face? Long Chen furiously slapped the fish monster, sending it flying. Its cultivation base wasn't very strong, so Long Chen used only the slightest power to avoid killing it. What irritated Long Chen was that since he had entered the netherworld with the old man, he could only descend into the whirlpool from the Black Lake's path. In the other regions, he was unable to descend down. That was why the only thing he could do was go all the way around through the other regions. At the bottom of the whirlpool, he was unable to find any other path up. Then as soon as he had gone back up the staircase in the black region, even it had vanished. So he couldn't even go back down. This yellow springs path was too strange. It had its own laws that Long Chen didn't understand. The fish monster let out a furious roar and charged back at Long Chen after being slapped. Fuck. Just wait. Long Chen returned to the previous region. Using the black soil, he made chains and roasted them with the heaven incinerating flame. It sounded strange as the heaven incinerating flame was said to be able to burn anything in existence. However, it was unable to ignite this black, sticky soil. Furthermore, using soil to form chains also sounded strange. The resulting chains were both tough and flexible. Long Chen made two 300 meter chains as well as two large hooks. As Long Chen was working on the border between regions, the fish monster roared at him. It didn't dare to go over to that region, but it was also unwilling to leave. Fuck off. After finishing the chains, Long Chen flung them at the fish monster. The sharp hooks at the end of the chains dug right into it, causing it to cry out and rush away. Pull my boat for me. Long Chen sat in the small boat and held onto the chains. The boat began to speed along the water behind the fish monster. However, the path it went was not a straight line. It was constantly winding as the fish monster tried to shake off the chains. However, there were countless barbs on the hooks, and there was no way for it to escape. Long Chen constantly pulled the chains, causing the fish monster to roar in pain. This fish monster was very strange. Its upper body was almost humanoid. It had two long tentacles while its head was elongated and had a horn. Its mouth was full of sharp teeth, and its lower body had dozens of long tails. Each tail ended in a fin. HMPH. You want to go down? Get up here. Just as the fish monster tried to dive to pull Long Chen into the lake, Long Chen pulled up. The fish monster was immediately pulled into the air. It tried several times without ever escaping Long Chen's control. It could only swim forward. If it deviated, he would pull on the chains, and if it slowed down, he would zap it with a lightning needle. In the end, the fish monster obediently pulled Long Chen's boat forward. There was a long-haired life form in the midst of crossing the Red Lake. He was blocking the attacks of a fish monster when he saw another strange fish monster speeding toward him. He immediately turned pale. Although these monsters weren't powerful, they possessed a strange power that ate away at his defensive barrier. Just one was his limit. If another came, he would be doomed. Mush. Mush. Faster. What are you daydreaming for? My time is precious. An arrogant cry rang out. The fish monster shot past him, and then he saw another figure right behind it. The fish monster and the figure shot past him in just an instant. Heavens what was that? Cried out the life form. A. Hey, it knows the human language. Long Chen managed to catch what the life form said. This was his first time encountering a life form that spoke the same language as him. He had an urge to go back and ask him questions. However, he also didn't want to waste any time. He decided to just let the fish monster continue pulling him. Mush. Mush. As Long Chen urged it on, he saw that it was already frothing at the mouth from how exhausted it was. However, Long Chen didn't care if it died. Didn't it think itself to be very badass? In the beginning. 
he had been forced to endure its attacks without being able to retaliate. Now the tables had turned. This thing might not be very powerful, but its recovery abilities were quite amazing while it was inside this lake. As long as it didn't die, it would recover quickly. The white lake quickly appeared ahead of him. However, once he got close to it, the fish monster refused to advance no matter how long Chen struck it. It seemed it was absolutely terrified of the white lake. Long Chen could only release it. However, now his chains had two large chunks of flesh on it. The fish monster let out a roar and fled for its life. It didn't dare to do anything to Long Chen anymore. Long Chen slowly paddled his way across the remaining distance. He sensed vast life energy coming from the white lake. However, just as he approached it, he sensed danger. A black light shot out of the water at him.